yeah. Peace, God. Peace, Earth. That's right, I'm back. B1 family in the house. It is 2021. Wisdom cipher, wisdom knowledge. All being born to power refinement. And we just coming in. Getting our feet wet today on this Sunday. Bring a little health and wellness into your life. You heard? Make sure you click that like button. As soon as you enter. Is this live? Oh, it's live. It's live, Jones Roy. Jones Roy. Need that hat, huh? I got it. I see some of the regulars in the house. Karis Knopflin, peace. Sean Knight. Oh, I got a new setup. I got my, I got my effects and all that. Much closer to me now. I don't have to reach all crazy. So that when I, when I, do, when I want to do something like that, oh, it's it, it's just right here. Yeah, what's good, y'all? Happy New Year. Welcome back to You Not a Mean Godcast. I am Lord Jamal. This is this is just a Sunday uh, Sunday cool out, a little wellness edition. Uh, Digger and Godfrey, they will be back soon. You know, I'm still letting them just relax, have a little vacation. We all need a little vacation at times, you know. Um, but I'm back. Um, I want to say, first of all, rest in peace to my brother, Fact Checker Rage, who, you know, he would usually do the year end wrap up and we didn't necessarily have one this year. I was thinking about, should I do a wrap up? And I was like, man, that's Rage's job. We not going. We gonna. We not gonna sh- try to just replace rage like that. Um. Also, want to give a big rest in peace shout out to my brother, uh, Daniel Dumalay, aka Zev Love X, aka MF Doom, who we uh found out passed away. Halloween, October 31st, but it just came out recently. So, um, yeah, rest in peace to him as well, you know. He was a label mate of mine. Um, We were on a record together, Nitty Gritty. Um, He just recently reached out for me to be on one of his unreleased records that uh, hasn't come out yet it was a song with me him and ghostface um yeah man that's crazy my man doom yo super talented um and i think a lot of uh a lot of new york djs should be ashamed for not supporting him in his prime you know 
when they needed to. You know, but I guess they don't have the the power that uh, DJs once used to have. Anyway, we hear it's 2021. Crackers is, is attacking the Capitol. They're climbing walls and shit. It's Honky Kong 2021. Oh, I seen the illest meme. Where, where they was climbing up the wall, they had the Donkey Kong dude at the top of the shit with the barrel, and it just showed white people climbing up the wall, and the shit said Honky Kong 2021. That shit had me crying and laughing. Well, listen, our guest today, okay, I want to call him almost like a, like a hip-hop Dr. Sabi. Um, this brother, first of all, he's a sponsor and supporter of the show. Okay, so let's uh, let's clap it up for that. Okay, he is a sponsor and supporter of the show. Uh, you may have seen his ads recently in our videos for Miracle Food. We actually have a link in the description right now. Um, yeah, this is a good brother, man, that, you know, the universe has 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 brought us together. And um, I've been building with this brother. I I'm, I'm actually have been taking the miracle food. And I must say, it's the truth, okay? It's the truth. This shit works. Um, so yes, uh, I'm happy to bring this brother on right now. Wait, hang on. Shout out to Darnell Dawes. You going to apologize to, oh, Atafunde. I was like, who's Atafunde? I know who Atafunde. Why would I apologize to Atafunde? What did I do to Atafunde? I asked Atafunde some question and he acted a Atafun. <laughs> so uh no apologies me um but anyway listen i want to bring my guest on right now um yeah this is my good brother right here i want y'all to give him a great god cast welcome ladies and gentlemen gods and earths the chakra doctor Peace. Infinite love, infinite love, eternal truth. Peace wave to you, brother Lord Jamar. What's good, King? Man, it's uh it's a wonderful time to be alive. It is a great time to be black. <laughs> you know, it is a wonderful time to have melanin in your in your system right now. You know, um the universe is smiling upon the earth. And those of you who even are, you know. Uh, sympathizing with the melanin cause and actually doing it, you know, for the righteous purposes, man, you guys are going to receive a residual as well. Um, it is a great time to be uplifting ourselves as people, uplifting and letting the uplifting of ourselves teach the world how to uplift themselves. Um, all we have to do is just keep on focusing on the positive and eventually we going to get to where we need to be. But, man, it's a wonderful time, man. We're birthing a lot of black millionaires, billionaires. You know, we we, we bringing a lot of um, black energy into the game, and a lot of people are waking up to who they are as an individual as well as on a spiritual, higher conscious level. And I'm just glad to be a part of it. I'm glad to be able to bring what I bring to the game and for people to able to be able to be learning from me. So I'm just I'm just humble and grateful for it all, man. Thank you for having me on your show. Thank you once again. So listen, bro. Let's 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 go. Uh, let's go to your genesis. Let's go a little bit into your history. How you got to where you're at right now, um, right. and just and just acquaint the people a little bit of you know just just, just uh, of your bio. So wh wh where are you from? Okay. So so yeah, and. 
just a unique history, you know, unique history going on. Um, I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. I was I was coincidentally born in Clark County Hospital, Las Vegas. Uh, my father was a gaming dealer at the time, and at the time, New Orleans um, casino scene wasn't fully up and running yet, and he was working in Las Vegas, where my aunt on my father's side was uh, living. And my mom used to visit him out there when she was pregnant with me. So coincidentally, she had me in Clark County Hospital. But immediately, you know, they took me back to New Orleans, Louisiana, and um, New Orleans, specifically uh, the West Bank of New Orleans, Louisiana. And so wait, you were born in the city of sin, is what you're saying? I, I was born in the city of sin and raised in the big ah. easy. That's <laughs> right. I was no, born in the city of sin and I was raised in the big easy. And um, I was born in the rotten apple, so it ain't no better. The, the 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 big city of sin, big easy, the route now because we know we can't look. They call it the big easy because they know don't no, nothing really of value come easy, you know. So they call it the city of sin because they know one thing we can't really get nowhere through sin. So that's why it's such a big city, you know, the rotten apple, you know mm. that big apple, you know apples go rotten all the, the time, garden, you know, in the garden. So, mm -hmm. but uh, so born, you know, um, born in there, born in that. In that environment, coming in New Orleans, being New Orleans being a, um, especially the West Bank being a multicultural uh, scene, I was uh, able to I was able to partake into having friendships of other ethnicities at an early age. Um, but I um, and my mother was a my mother was an iron fist Virgo who ruled her house with truth and love. One shout out to the Virgos. Yes, Virgo. Shout out to the Virgos. <laughs> um, yes, yeah. Yeah, she and she ruled and she ruled and she ruled her house with uh two things, two rules. Look, don't 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 come lying to me. You can get look, I don't care what it is, whatever no matter what it is, it's gonna be better if you don't lie to me. You just able to be honest, and I know I can get honesty from you. And you better have my house in order. Mm -hmm. Um, everything that I give you, everything I give you to take care of in this house, it better be done because I'm not gonna be spending my money and my time on you working for you, busting my ass for you, and you ain't doing what I need to be done. And so she taught me, and she was able to get in the trenches with me too, in the sandbox. She was able to actually get in the sandbox, you know. And and and, and you know, we men or boys, we like physical contact coming up. And she was able to do that. She was able to, you know, play football with me, and she was able to do the stuff my dad wasn't able to do um, because they were divorced or whatever like that. And uh, and she taught me to read, bro. Like she just made me read forever. Are you an only child? You got brothers and sisters? What? Are yeah, no, and that's another thing. Only child, yeah, only child. I'm the only child of my mother and my father, and they both had me as late bloomers. Um, my, my father had me when he was 29. My mom was 25, and uh, that's and deep. So my mother they, was 30 when she had me, and I'm the oldest. My mother was 30 when she had me, and my okay, father. Was okay, okay, yeah. So you, you understand? 29, and my, and then I had two brothers after me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, man, and that's what you know. That's the one thing in childhood coming up, like being an only child. I had to figure out ways to entertain myself, and my mom gave me a whole bunch of ways to entertain myself, especially through um when it came to using my mind and reading. Um, and she was an avid, and, she, and my mom was an avid Pentecostal Christian, uh, spoken tongues and everything, and um with a with a hoodoo priestess background, but what one might call a what one might call a uh, an unorthodox background because it wasn't any sect or any cult. She was uh, basically an individual and she basically just had her own ways of putting the universe together and piecing all of the truth out of the ways that she knew and not shunning really. You know, you never heard her talk about down. She never really talked down on anything. She always just talked up on the things that she was on. And so um, she always told me how to, she taught me how to stay out of nigga business you know she my mom was the person that taught me how to fight i was getting bullied in the neighborhood my mom mm. i was getting bullied in the neighborhood come running back my mama mama said you better go out there if you come back i'm i'm gonna fuck you up it was a it was a real lesson seeing this beautiful bright light-skinned woman um rule with this iron fist of justice and you know and the broke the stereotypical norms of what how light-skinned folk act and stuff um and so and she was able to impart this in, in, into my being. And so she died on me when um when I was 16 years old on Christmas Day, you know, and that's when um that's when you know real, 
you know, and I, me and my mom come up from poverty together and I seen her come up and then uh, she come up for a few years and then, you know, the health and the, uh, the health deteriorated and out of the blue, she hits a brain tumor, she dies. Um, um, and she dies and I watched her and I watched her deteriorate for six months. Like, you know, the God of my home, you know, she, and, and another thing, she, when, there's no question she couldn't answer, right? With wisdom and honesty and truth. And so now this was just gone, this was just gone. And, you know, my grandma on my dad's side, she was a big part. And so my grandma had died right there the year before. So my grandma, then her, then my cousin got shot in the head in the project. That was my, my that was like my brother. And he was, uh, you know, he was like, you know, he was like that brotherly figure to me. He got taken away by the streets and my, my mother's, my mother's uh, fiance, literally right after she died, died eight months later of a, literally a heart attack, a broken heart. So it was a real, real stroke of a uh, death period for me, what I like to call, uh, what the universe put me through, you know, um, and throughout since I was little, I always, no matter what sect or religion or what uh, spiritual calling that I visited, they always told me I was special. No matter if it was the Christians, the Christians told me I was a man of God. If it was, if it was the Islam, in, in Islam, I would, you know, I know how to say, I know how to say my whole, I know how to say my whole, uh, all of my rakas, I know how to say all of my prayer through in, in, in Arabic. Um, and so, and so everywhere I go, I led, I used to lead the prayer or, you know, I used to be the Hafiz, or not the Hafiz, sorry. I used to be the Amir, all right? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or the Imam in the, in the community, in the dorms. I used to always, you know, in jail, I used to always speak for everybody. Wait, wait, wait. You jumping. You jumping now. You jumping now. Jumping okay, now. well, I'm jumping. Yeah, I'm tripping. So, anyway. Yeah, so anyway how, how, get how, back, how, back to that. Sorry. Here, anyway, how, get how, back how, to. Get back anyway. Getting back to you know, I'm just showing you how like since young, I always everybody always saw something special in me. And through growing up, um, growing up with my mom, she always gave me you know uh, these special these, these special programs. Hey, you're this. Hey, you're that. I believe you can do this. Look, you're gonna do this. She always made me read, 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 read. When she got taken away from me, um, that's when a real trial and tribulation happened. And um, I have a big family and. My Where did that had, leave you at that right, time? Right. Did you, how did you respond to the to that death period? Did you did it make you more rebellious? Did it make you, uh, you know? Yeah, it, it or, completely, it completely, it completely destroyed me. It, it was, it was, uh, you know, like I said, I found my grandma dead in the bathroom on Super Bowl Sunday, and I found my mom dead on Christmas. You know, so it's, uh, it, it, it was a real major blow to my world it was you know it was um it was a that was my that was the that was the period i call it the hell period you know and and i got further into the streets because i had a big family and none of them um stepped up and said hey look you come stay by us man you know my my mom come my mom has come from us has eight siblings and um all of them you know have jobs and educations and you know what women consider you know um black upper middle or lower middle class but my mom never had communications with them my mom always told me stay away from them keep them out of your business you know they ain't no good this or that or third so my mom was a loner right and so i was the only child my mom was alone and she gave me a lot of responsibility of just me a relationship with me and her and teaching me how to be a man on a lot of levels that women don't even i don't think women even think they're capable of teaching a man on how to be a man on certain levels and so uh that death happened that destroyed me. That sent me. That sent me. Definitely spiral. Before then, you know, and just in New Orleans, period. There's nothing to do for the youth, period, out there. But um, some with lower education, with the low education rate, and everything that's going on with the murder rate and all the drugs and all the crazy stuff going on um, in New Orleans. What you year know what is it? What, what year it is? Like what? What? What decade? 1990, 1998. I was sixteen. Okay. Nineteen ninety-eight, Christmas Day. I was 16 and well, I'm 38, I'm 38. I make 39 on um, April, April 12th. And so, um, literally, uh, literally she, uh, she was that, she was that world. And in 1998, that's when, that's when it was just boom. It was all take, it was all stripped away My by my dad never being, by my dad being absent. I was never really able to, uh, me and him never really, really was able to grow a bond to where when she split and I went by him, we was able to immediately jail and get along as men because he never wanted to be there as that man in the first place. So, you know, and my family said, okay, look, nah, nah, we, we ain't got nothing to do with that. And so, and I, into, so at 16 years old, into 
group home I go into a, a place called the Covenant House. I never forget it. That's when it really, really jumped off. Um, yeah, um, Covenant and I, House out here. Uh huh. I heard of that before. Right, and I'm in. The, so I'm in the Covenant House, and um, right as soon as I get in the Covenant House, you know, I meet um, I, I meet my big homie, and at this time, uh, at this time, that's when you know, uh, gangs were running rampant, and um, and even it touched it touched New Orleans for a little split second. Um, before it died off because New Orleans niggas, all they do is kill. You can't, you know, it's a real tribal mentality. The gang, the gang culture can't really last that long. Um, but it did last for a little while. And uh, my, my my big homie, uh, Big Two, that's when me and him started just going, taking into the, I started taking my anger to the streets. I started taking my sadness to the streets. I started taking uh, all, all of it. In what boy, way? Boy. Hmm? In what way? Taking it to the streets in what way? Oh, selling drugs, doing drugs, um, robberies, you know, um, you can Google, you can Google my name, just Google Rance Dunbar and you'll go see my past. Google my past and I, I'll be, I'll be trial, I'll be, I'll be on robbery, attempt murder trial. Um, I've got convicted and got 12 years and gave the time and, and, and did and filed my own time and then gave the time convicted back. for what? Um, uh, uh, I got 12 years for accessory, uh, accessory to car jacket, accessory mm. to car jacket and, um, I was the only one that got caught, sex with a car jack and took my lick. And would try to I try I try to beat it. I, I, every time I went to every time I went to the, I never copped out. I'm not a cop out type of dude. I always felt like, you know, um, I told you I always have a, I had an intellect, I always knew that. And I always since I was little, I always thought that they was lying to us. When I say they meaning people who are over us and had authority over us, then that can influence what we thought I always, but I just never could put my finger on it. But so I always had this thing where people with uh badges and guns they me and them didn't get along and so um i got i i, I got i got convicted of 12 years uh for a sex for accessory, carjacking? accessory to carjacking they wow gave me 12 years they gave me they gave me 12 years um provided provided i get out of the i get out of six provided that i uh, do my good time i filed paperwork by be by being a trial and i filed the appeal i filed the appeal and when I filed, I filed my appeal, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals overturned that court's decision, uh, that, that guilty, that guilty, that guilty decision that I got in trial. And literally uh, on a writ of certiorari, I was able to be out on an appeal bond. And it was, it was, it was the case was supposed to be over. The case was supposed to be good and everything. I had did you know two years, and I did two years. Came home, but then guess what? The Louisiana Supreme Court overturned the. Uh, the appellate court and gave that shit back to me and said, no, nigga, you're going back and do the rest of these four and a half since you won't play the games. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so uh, I did the I did the rest of my four, came home with six on parole, did my whole six on parole, never went back. No, I did. I went back one more time. I went back three. I went back three years later on a on a whole di entirely different uh, set. And it was a whole it, it was just me weeding out me weeding out the process. And so um, beating recidivism man. Beating addiction and beating selling drugs and beating all of these uh, everything I was doing and I got three convictions. I'm a three time loser. I'm a three time loser and um, everything that I was doing was just self destructive. Trying to medicate, I attempted suicide. Man, when I was when I was seven when I was seventeen, I'm in the boys' home. I I took I took so much they don't they still don't know how I live to this day. I took I OD on so much heroin and so much and drunk so much alcohol. They don't know how I live to this day. They say I'm a miracle to this day. Um, mm -hmm. I just wanted to go be with her. You know what I mean? Um, so it was a real, it was a real, real, uh, it was a real, real. And but I was blessed to be around real niggas too. I was blessed to be around real fellas in the streets, guys that was in the streets that had names that had names of respect and how they carried themselves in the streets on principles and morals, and not just who they shot up or who. Drugs, how much, how much money they had from drugs they sold, you know what I mean? So I was just blessed in a unique situation. Even when I went to jail, the killers always took a liking to me. I, man, listen, I am far I am far from a person that applies and sit and want to kill somebody, but killers took a liking to me. Uh, you know, everybody always just took this liking to me. Uh, I used to write dudes who used to kill shit in the street. I got to write their letters to their girl and their ladies in jail, <laughs> you know, because I know how to articulate a little, I know how to articulate a little something, something, you know what I mean? So, um, I grew a lot of friendships and won a lot of uh won a lot of real nigga support um just through being a real person and you know just the principles that my mom taught me were honesty and integrity and standing on and ready to die for what you stand on. And so um, you know, 
getting trial and error. I was always a scientist at life too, a nerd at life. I was always a nerd at life too. Let's get that. I was a, I was in the streets, but I always had a nerd mind. I played Magic the Gathering. I played Dungeons and Dragons. Um, you know, I always believed Monopoly was a was a metaphor for something bigger. I always my dad taught me chess. My my dad, one of the things he taught me, my dad taught me chess when I was 12 years old, gave me my first crescent moon and on um, the star ring when I was 12 years old when he was with the nation of Islam, but he didn't stay consistent with that. So we didn't see nothing come about that. Feel me? My, my dad was real. He was a, he was a, he was a great man. He was a great man in a lot of ways, but his, his consistencies uh, proved to be, you know, a lot of the things that kept him from reaching the heights that he wanted to reach with his family and things in life. So I learned from how not to be on that level. Right. Um, Let me ask you something real quick, real quick. So coming from all of this, right? Right. How do you come into the knowledge that you obtain now? Where does the knowledge that you jail. have come from? Jail. Um, the way the I always call I always call places like jail or monasteries or places when you go to ashrams. I always call those places jail. Or when you're in a place where you're cut off from the natural or normal goings ons of society, so you have no time but time to yourself to work on master and perfect yourself perfect your character perfect your speech um and you know in toastmasters i got that in jail um i took advantage of i took advantage of the things that they had in jail i was uh you know the people the guys who did law work i was there was they were some of my best buddies right um my my when i gave my time back it became case law it became it became case law that other inmates you were starting to use to try to get off their time um, you know what I mean? So it was always my smart, my, 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 my gangster with my smarts always got me ahead there. It was like, no, he, 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 he ain't, he ain't no, he, he ain't no hoe. He ain't nobody ain't gonna play with him. But at the same time, he's smart and he able to stand on it. So, um, in jail, when you, you got a lot of geniuses in there, they just, they just, the environment has placed them in, uh, in, in a place where they don't recognize the psychology of the game that's being played to, on, to us by society. The game is poverty and wealth, okay? And so a lot of a lot of time we have gangsta, we have hustle, and we have tenacity, but we don't have an organized strategy. We don't have an organized plan. We don't have a support team, a system, all of the things that you need in order to uh, in order to succeed. And guess what we do? We revert to what's in our environment, what we see on the block, what we see in our home, what we see on the TV, whatever, whatever's going to be our learning tool, or what we choose to be our learning tool. And so you see a lot of dudes in prison. And a lot of black, when I say black men, you know, you see a lot of black men in prison, they're geniuses. When you look at all of the greats, um, Malcolm X and Martin Luther, they all had to go to jail and they went to jail. You know, Elijah Muhammad went to jail and he got the educated in jail. That was the cocoon state. Um, um, you know, the prophets, uh, the prophets in the Bible and the crime, they went to jail, served time in jail. They was gangsters. So I, that's why my spiritually gangster program, I teach people how to be spiritual. But at the same time, you got to remain and keep your gangster. The universe didn't put you through all of that hell so you can get to heaven and get bougie and forgot what it's like to be in hell. No, you, you, you're you supposed to carry that hell experience and let that hell experience root you so that you'll never let another hell destroy you again but at the same time grow into that heaven into the light and let that light shine upon you so that you could be a nutrient and shine a light in that into that darkness in other people's life so um when when i'm going when i was going through these through these jail stints you know uh i ran I, it was pieces of knowledge every time i went pieces of knowledge every time i went pieces of knowledge every time I went and every time I gathered it restructured my steam and say all right this time when I go out I got it I got it right but guess what I'll come back damn I did it wrong was man I, I'm tired of coming in here man I'm tired I'm tired of, I'm tired of seeing your face see I'm tired of, man I'm tired of being in, on a tip I'm tired of feed up I'm tired of waking up man I gotta stop doing this situation and so I always had the intent to not repeat the recidivism, but I didn't know it was a systematic structure of psychology and psychiatry that marketed it to my subconscious and let it play and, and it played out through my ignorance. Okay? So what let you know? What let you know? Who was your mentor that that helped you understand these certain things? Like like how were you exposed? Because you came up with FCA yoga in jail, yes? Yes. So That's in order to do that, you had to have knowledge of the chakras and what they do. And all. how did you come into all of that type? I of found out. I I came I came into the knowledge of the chakras by this book called uh, "We're All Doing Time." It's the Yoga Prison Project. It was in the garbage can. One of the dudes 
through mm. the book away. I was, I told you, my mom always, I was always an avid reader. And I was always an avid, I was always an avid creator too. I, uh, you know, in, in school, when I'm in, uh, in church, I played Moses in the play. And I, you know, I always was an avid person that was open to things in, in, in life when I was in church and, you know, um, coming up when I was little. And uh, so uh, my mom always, my mom and my dad, they both, that was just a rule. You got to read. If you don't read, if you ain't read it, if you ain't reading, you ain't, you don't tell us nothing. Don't talk to us about something that you could have just went to go pick up a book and read it and you could have found, found it out yourself. Don't ask, for, don't ask, little, ask and it shall be given unto thee means you done exhausted your methods of reading. And so when I was in, uh, when I was in prison, uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of gangsters were my mentor that had knowledge. They bro, and it was, it was, it was, it, it, it was, it was amazing. I met, I met genius guys from the street who had, and who, who knew about the stuff that you hear David, like, man, that shit David, like, them been talking about me hearing that since the 90s from dudes in jail. You feel me? So, um, they just take us and they lock us in the back of the in, in a cage with it and they take them and they make Gaia and all of these different and all of these different stations and Discovery Channel with it and then take the knowledge and put a white face on it. But nah man, we've gained. We already know what's popping. The same stuff that y'all the same stuff that every man, listen, the, the jailhouse gets wind of it before y'all we, we do in the world. It, it's it, it's it's amazing the knowledge that is in there. And I was able to get had my hands on books that aren't even in publishing no more from dudes that been in there for life. Dude been in there for 25 years holding on to a book that's 30 years old to the book about 55 years old. You understand what I'm saying? And I was a reader, so I read Think and Grow Rich. I read 48 Laws of Power. I read How to Win Friends and Influence People. I, and, and, when, and when I read a book, I don't just read a book. I try to literally be the actor and act the book out, right? So that was my teacher. Gangsters in, gangsters in jail, uh, my mom, and me being able, and me, and me, and me being able to just comprehend it all in a genius fashion. Meaning, I was able to go out without fear and trial and error, and not ask too many questions, but just be a silent sponge. So that's why a lot of people like to teach me too, because I was a silent sponge for so long, and I just soaked up for so long, and then it was just like my sponge just got too big, and I burst, right? And so um, I found out about the chakras in 2000, and, um, between that 2007 and 2008 period. And it was, it, it blew my mind. It blew my mind. Like, wait a minute. You tell me they got, we got these invisible, you got these invisible lights of subatomic particles or presence or atoms, whatever you will right. inside of you. Not to cut you off, but I just saw somebody in the, in the, in the uh, comments. Do you have proof of the chakras? Yes. Uh -huh. The proof <laughs> yeah. of the chakra. And that, and that's what, and that's who I am. Um, if you look, and look at, and if you look at the word chakra, it, it it ends with Ra. That which is on your hat. Ra is the ancient alkabuline comedic frequency of the God frequency. When you go to the doctor, the doctor gonna say, open your mouth and say, ah. Uh, when you have a satisfaction in life, you go, ah. Right? You hear karate. Hiya, ra, sa, pa. Right? These are these are phonetic God frequencies. And so when you hear about chak. Ra, first and foremost, the chop Ra's originated in Africa, okay? And then what is now called Africa, which is really El Kebula, all right? And um, literally, literally this technology that has been plagiarized, stolen, remixed into different religions, no matter what religion you go to, we can find out about the chakras. If I go to the Christian book, the Christian book is gonna tell me about seven trumpets with seven angels, with seven all throughout the book, for the, to show you the symbology of the seven chakras. Same thing with the Quran. The Quran is just the sister of Christianity. If I go to Buddhism, you're going to find out about the seven the seven uh, faces of Buddha. And you, when I go to uh, Hinduism, you're going to find out about the, the goddess with the seven hands. It's going to, uh, if, when you go everywhere, anywhere you go, you, you got seven days in your week, okay? You got seven, you got seven planets that rule your seven days. And you have to realize that everything is the macrocosm being explained to us on a microcosmic level, okay? And so um, in my journey, in my walk, dissecting books so much so that they became not only books, each individual book in its own right became my Bible, if you will. Um, and study to show yourself approved. And I dissected the book. 
I went to go out and practice the principle to see if it worked. And guess what? By golly, that law of attraction stuff really does work. If I do think positive 100% of the time, I guarantee you my losers are going to turn into wins way more often than not. If I got the ability to just channel and focus my energy to something positive and just smile, it takes way less muscles to smile than to frown, right? And if I just do certain things, inner, not pointing at the finger at Jamal, not pointing at the finger at my mama dying, not pointing the finger at my drug abuse, not pointing the finger at everybody, but pointing the finger at myself and taking full responsibility for why I am or am not making it in life. And so um, that was like, that was, those were those turning points in those cocoons in, in, in prison. And so in prison, it was like a cocoon. I was able to learn in, I was able to learn in four, three, four, five years what it takes 30 40 years to learn in, in the free world because I didn't ask so I, I I didn't um play around right I always I always made sure even though I may have gotten to this or gotten to that or made or went to the whole got in trouble with this or that I always had a always had a intent to learn from the experience I always had a uh intent to be wise I even though I might have did some dumb stuff in trying to be wise and learning my lesson from it I all my intent always was truth and honesty love purity you know what i mean even when it came time to doing business in the streets i always had a certain code about that i always had so everything my mama just built me with a code and that code never left and it and it, and it protected me from the streets transitioning into the legit world being able to have a business partner um you know that's a, that's a self-made millionaire i'm talking to billionaires and we're about to put some ideas together and i'm just a, i'm just a poor little ghetto child from new orleans eat poor boys and live a hog head cheese liver cheese how did i how did i come from pork backs and and, and pig feet and, and oh let's do it sipping lean shooting dope uh snort coke uh you know popping pills how did i come from all of those negatives that's supposed to send you in death and in jail and so it was like, man, I've just been put in this predicament to unlock something that's very uh, scientific. And we call it spiritual so that it, we could take it lightly. But it's not spiritual so much as scientific. It's subatomic particle matter energy. And so until we are able to realize this, that that word that they call spirit or that thing that they call soul or the thing that they call spiritual is really just science jargon for subatomic particles and quarks and you know so on and so forth right and so this is and they don't tell you that we can access it with simply our words with simply our the way we imagine with simply the way we put things together inside ourselves and we can actually not only imagine it and put it together but we can physically feel these subatomic particles with fca yoga um and that's another thing. The only African American, rejoice, my African American people. You have an African American male that has licensed, trademarked, and sanctioned and invented his, his own yoga. Simple. It, it, it's a simple yoga, right? What's so, FCA yoga? What is it? FCA yoga. So, FCA yoga is the FCA. What does FCA stand for? Right, right. So, first and foremost, the name of the name of my company, my S Corporation, is called My FCA Inc. FCA stands for full chakra activation. A lot of us have heard of the seven chakras, but I take us on a journey of the 29 chakras, the 22 uh, transpersonal chakras. In Kabbalahism, you might hear them known as the 22 pathways to the tree of life or death. Um, so the chakras, I, we, we I take you on a journey using your imagination, the power of your imagination, and we access these subatomic particles you call chakras because chakra means wheel of light sphere of light or circle of light that subatomic particle looks like a little circle okay and it just can't be seen with the naked eye because the naked eye can only see two percent visible light 98 percent of what's to be seen cannot be seen now this is a kicker it's it's not it's no coincidence that 98 percent of what's to be seen cannot be seen and they claim that 98 percent of our dna is junk DNA, and 98% of the world holds on to 2% of the world's wealth, and so on and so forth. So um, so the FCA stands for full chakra activation. Full chakra activation means that you will not only know what these chakras are, know how to access them, and know how to turn them on, but you will physically feel them coursing throughout your body, 
physically feel them coursing throughout from head to toe as a physical proof that the chakras are real and no longer a pseudoscience to be discussed amongst people who are intellectually masturbating, but a actual science that is able to be challenged at the highest level so that it can be experimented upon and withstand the test of scrutiny. So, um, and so FCA stands for full chakra activation. FCA yoga only comes in two positions, sitting up in your chair like you're doing right now, like you're doing at home right now, and lying down flat on your back in your bed or on your couch or in your car or on your, uh, so it's real convenient for your house. It's real convenient for the people who got everyday lives on the go. It's Sounds like it's convenient for a prison cell as well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they not be doing a whole lot of uh positions and all that type of shit. Can be doing a whole lot of positions. Little combined space. You just lie down in your cot. You sit down. And sit down, and sit down. You, you better not be doing no, no sun salutes in this motherfucker. Don't be ain't doing no, no downward be dog. God damn it in jail. Yeah. Hey, what this nigga trying to? Say? Yeah, you, ain't gonna be doing, you ain't gonna be doing no compromising positions in this daddy. Okay. What the fuck going on? But anyway. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, so, so sit up or lay down. Yeah, so either sitting up or lying down. And we and remember the seven-year-olds, my eight your children can do it from uh age of seven on up. The seven-year-olds, the eight-year-olds, the nine-year-olds, and the ten-year-olds completed with ease. It is us adults who have been uh, conditioned by life who may have trouble with visualization, but it's just you visualizing, me guiding you, and we're breathing, doing uh, FCA yoga breaths. I show people how to do the FCA yoga breaths, and it's a unique way of breathing because I am an aspiring breath Aryan, as well as a current practicing juicer um, and juice on uh, juicer only. And so well, what is it's only Aryan? those that don't know what what is that Brett Darian is one who is able to survive off of only sunlight air and water mm. sunlight air and water uh we can program our bodies we can program our minds and we can program our machines because remember our body is a machine our brain is a computer we can program these machine computers to only function off of what the off the what the trees function off of and the trees only function from off of the air the earth the water and the sunlight and so we are the trees are our the trees are our literally are our uh twin cousins our twin brothers and sisters the only difference is in the middle of their cellular structure is um is chlorophyll and in the middle of our cellular structure is magnesium and but we're they have the 102 mineral composition just like the uh, original man and woman on earth they um and they are the only living beings on earth that can prove immortality in your face trees can live to standard immortality trees can live um, a thousand, two, three thousand. If you if you leave them up, you leave them um leave them be. They can live thousands of years. Um, so our bodies. You know, um, saying you are wilding right now. <laughs> ah, hang on. For those of you all that are just joining us, I'm here with the chakra doctor, and I see a lot of people talking shit in the comments. Listen, if this is something that doesn't resonate with you, I understand. Everything is not for everybody. Like you're welcome <laughs> to leave right now. Um. <laughs> We just talking. I'm telling you, I've built with this brother, and yes, you know, he can get loquacious, but give him a chance because trust me, I'm not bringing you no bullshit. So just relax, okay, and let the brother, uh, let the brother build, let the brother speak. Um, but yeah, if you're not if you're not feeling him, come back for another show that you are feeling. We still love you. We all family here. But we don't, everything is not for everybody. So, can, can you, my brother. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the trees, like I said before, man, so breatharianism is basically uh, becoming a living and walking and talking tree. Because I know uh, that it's possible. I know that it's possible to survive. Right. This brother that was uh, surviving, I think he was from India, and he was surri surviving on air and shit like that, where he would... Right. He was creating a nectar that was um dripping from the roof of his mouth. This was the only like food that he was eating, and he was producing this himself. But right. see, people don't understand when you're truly living at a god level the type of shit you can do. 
we're looking at this right now as just regular schmegular, you know, regular, regular humans. 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 Ain't no way you could live on just sunlight and water. Now you bugging. Like, you know what I mean? Like, trust me. Right. Or they like Jamal's wilding too. All right, uh, Dr. So, Anki. Well, look, you, look, I'm living proof right. that it's almost, I'm, I'm living proof that it's almost possible because my only diet is juice, water, and pistachio. So juice That's water, you yeah. I, I, so I mean, my vow, my vow is I only everybody eat every day. I wanted to reverse the game. I wanted to, I want everybody eat every day and fast every now and again. I wanted to reverse that and fast every day and only eat every now and again. So I've trained my body to this. You meaning? There are times, there are times when I first started and I was starving, but I just had enough discipline to say, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let my body suffer and go through the pain or agony of hunger and want and desire and just deny my body of this to show myself that I do have the power to con- have mind over matter. They don't tell us that the mind is over matter for no reason. They tell us these things and they don't tell us, you know, in the little engine that could, I think I can because you can't. They tell you this because it's 100%. 100% true, 100% fact. But we, as people, as black people, especially my black people, we have been programmed to think not like ourselves. We have been programmed to see the world in the way that Caucasians want us to see it, to see the world in the way that Chinese people want us to see it, to see the world in the way that Indians want us to see it, to see the world in the way that um, Koreans or whoever want us to see it, never seeing that we are the builders of the world. We are literally the builders of everything in the world. There's not one thing that you use right now in 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 in, in modern day or before um, that it wasn't built by a melanated being. So the fact that we are the builders of the world, but we own none of the world. We don't own no planes, no trains, no bus stations. We don't own no banks. We don't got no schools, no military, no police force, no political agenda. We don't, man, listen, politics, media, education, business, military, medicine, banking, religion, black market, and the stock market. We ain't nothing but dancing and shucking and jiving in these areas when we have all of the power in these areas, meaning these areas of life don't run, maintain, and sustain without our life's blood, sweat, and tears but we don't own none of it. So what is it that's keeping it, uh, us away from it? Simple things like knowing who you are and knowing that, hey, there is a beast among you and that beast comes to attack you in your diet, comes to attack you in your mind with what he puts on the TV and comes to attack you. The same person that had you had your brother and sister raping their mother and father in slavery, right? Now he's put it in a different thing. Now you got to watch the rape on TV. And now you got to watch the rape in the movie or you it's still the same rape. It's still the same intrusion upon your space. But now it's even worse because you don't even think you're a slave. You get to go to McDonald's and say, I'm free, which is the definition of slavery. You get to go to their establishments. Remember, we want to be free. We want to be free. But hey, give us our handout. Give us our monthly handout. We want to be free. Remember, I had I was on food stamps. I had to cut the food stamp card and burn it in the fire. You see what I'm saying? I have to, I have to, I have to say enough is enough. When am I going to take back my rights as a melanated God on this earth? If earth is my home and earth is my, is what I'm supposed to be planting, so in seeds and being fruitful and multiplying, you, know, you should know a tree by the fruit that it bears. Where is my fruit? Where is my house? Where is my car? Where is my, my, my where, where is my sanity? Where is my clarity? Where is all of it? Where is my health? Where is my wealth? So I begin to ask myself and give myself these inventories. I would say, okay, you need to correct this. Okay, no, you need to correct it. You need to get your body right, man. You need to um, quit leaving. Yeah, you need to quit leave these things alone. And I had to develop a discipline because, oh man, I can't. I gotta leave my chicken alone. I gotta leave my fish alone. Oh, I got man. Look at Bob Dick Gregory told me if it poos, farts, pees have sex to make babies that it don't belong in your body. The honorable, noble, justice, immortal Dr. Sebi came by and gave you a law of alkalinity to infuse into your batteries, into your cars, and now I'm coming with the oil for your car, right? And so, and I'm coming with the spirituality, like, hey, remember, you're inside of the car. You're not the car. You are inside of the car. That nose goes back to great mother universe, the earth. That nose and that body goes back to the earth, but you are going somewhere else. 
you are traveling somewhere farther because you're a spiritual being on a physical journey. So FCA is number one, the tapping into our subatomic particles, speaking to them with our voice inside of our mind silently and making them get active inside of our body so much so that we can feel them as physical vibrations on our physical skins and inside of our platelets, inside of our veins and inside of our lungs and inside of our body. So FCA yoga is a different yoga because I call it the Bruce Lee of yogas. Activating all 29 of your chakras is intense. It feels wonderful. It relieves stress. It gives you immediate sleep uh, benefits. It gives you healed, man, we've healed bones. We've healed addiction. We've healed so many things with FCA yoga. I've activated over 10,000 people with FCA yoga. I started, that's why, the reason why the name of my company is called My FCA, because without FCA yoga, I would not be able to even be here and talk to you. FCA yoga is how I, how I was able to reel in Gandhi, um, Dr. Varun Gandhi, and bring it to the Indian community first, because my community rejected me first. But Shout guess what, that is Dr. not because I love my community, huh? So shout out to Dr. Gandhi. Yeah, shout out to right. Dr. Gandhi. And, you know, his community accepted me first, and then my community accepted me because I told him, Dr. Gandhi, we got to go bring this to my people. This is why I made it, bro. And he, guess what? Like a real nigga, he's an Indian man from Mumbai. He said, guess what, man? That's what I'm, man, if, if I'm your people. Guess what? You trying to help your people? I'm trying to help your people. Because why? Because you helping me help my people. So this unique this unique union between the African American or what you like to call African American or whatever you like to call us um, has teamed up with the Indian American and the Indian community. And I haven't seen a workable, uh, functioning, successful business model of Africans or African Americans uniting with Indians in business, turning it into fully trademarked corporate corporate entities and taking these fully trademarked corporate entities and putting money behind them and actually marketing ourselves if the Coca-Cola is going to market themselves, but on a on a more spiritual and on a more um, healthier kick. Right. right. Same and, you market, and you market with people that are not necessarily the mainstream you market with people who are on a spiritual b1 um yeah. type of energy and you actually put your money where your mouth is so all these motherfuckers in the comments that want to talk shit okay about you right now oh he's freestyling i don't really think y'all understand that this brother actually has a, 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 a successful company um, and and is actually doing the work out here. See, a lot of us like to talk shit and blah, 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 but don't do the work. Like, show and prove is what I'm all about. And this brother right. is about showing and proving. He came to me and he ain't asking for no handout. He actually said, I want to add on to what you're doing. I want to help fund what you're doing. Okay? So we absolutely gonna give this man respect. Yeah, man. I, I was just talking to Gandhi. Me and Gandhi. Me and Gandhi. We just like I said before. We just employed. We, we've employed so far. We've employed 15, 15 African American people to help us with this. You know, uh, mission, man. And um, you know, we took a budget aside and said, man, whoever is willing to, whoever has the people, whoever has the people's best interests at heart, and whoever has the people's uh. You know, because that's what I'm all about. I'm, this is what I'm all about, y'all. I'm I'm all about, I don't care your color. I don't care about your race. I don't care about that. I love my people, right? I love my people. I love all people. I love all people. No matter who you are, I love you. No matter where you at, I love you. But my people, I also love with a intense passion. And so... The one thing that I always preach, the one thing that I always say is that I don't care about your religion. I don't care about your creed. I don't care about where you're from. I don't care about where you're at. I don't care about none of that background stuff because in the end, you are my color. And that's all that matters. When I go to Gandhi's community, it's nothing but Indian supporting Indians and the Indian community is flourishing. When I go, when me and Gandhi go to the Chinese, the Chinese support the Chinese. The Hispanics support the Hispanics. The Caucasians support the Caucasians. And all of the different races, the Arabs support the Arabs. We're the only ones that's, 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 that's shooting each other down economically. 
right? Not just in the streets or some old tribal stuff that whites kill whites and Hispanics kill Hispanics and Chinese kill Chinese and so on and so forth. But we're the only ones that's televised for it. Why? Because we're the gods of the we're gods of the nations, nations of gods and earth. So we're the nations of gods and earth, and the nations of gods and earth are acting acting devilish. Guess what? It's gonna be frontline news. Wow, look at the nations of gods and earth acting like devils. They eat devilish, they talk devilish, they walk devilish, they claim spiritual, but they don't do nothing about it. They have they talk spiritual lies, but they can't produce a spiritual bag. I'm all about, don't tell me your life is spiritual and everything is good and peachy king, but you can't call you, you can't call up and donate ten thousand dollars to your next business venture. Don't, 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 don't tell me about this spiritual thing right here because I want to be not only spiritual, I want to be rich as fuck. Period. Because mm. spiritual because spirituality is the richest reality. So how can you be living the richest reality, which is spirituality, and not produce the physical reality of that rich reality. So I'm all about just making sure that not only do we talk the talk, but we walk the walk and we be men about it. God's about it. Goddesses about it. Right now we're still being children about it. We cry as soon as master go do anything. We go crying and running and nobody coming up with no plans. We just talking about problems. So me, I just wanted to dedicate my solution. My solution is, hey, if we just get into our cocoons, correct ourselves. Look, I'm not looking. I'm not going to worry about what such and such did. I'm not going to worry about what Blah say Blah did. I'm about to build this positive cocoon that is going to attract everything I ever wanted to me, everything I ever needed to me. I'm going to build up a vibration like the matrix that says there is no spoon. Then and only then will I be able to bend the spoon, a.k.a. bend the matrix, a.k.a. bend the system, a.k.a. be ye in the world, but not of the world you can be in this world but you don't have to be of it right and so how do we do that by tuning into the real world inside this is the real world inside of us so inside of us lies the gold inside of us lies the treasure and then when we go gold digging right inside of ourselves what gold digging trying to get somebody with a lamb or gold digging trying to get somebody because you you sliding on a pole or gold digging because you trying to sell some drugs and digging for gold but we digging for gold inside of our souls that solid gold soul, right? And then when we so we digging in ourselves for that solid gold soul, guess what? It's gonna bleed out. It's gonna pour us out a blessing that we won't have enough room to receive. Fuck, I don't look at the cup as half empty. I don't look at the cup as half full. I look at that motherfucker as overflowing abundantly, spilling over, dripping sauce into every motherfucking lane that I walk through. Why? Because that's who we are. That's what we did. Look at the world. Show us where we haven't been. Look at the world. Show us what we didn't build. Show us what we didn't create. Show me something that doesn't say that black people own the world but we have no part of that ownership you see and so this is why i'm here and coming with the spiritual aspect of it and coming with the health and wellness aspect of it like we can't spend a million dollars if we're not healthy enough to spend it get a million when I, mean, I can't get a million dollars if we're not healthy enough to get it right we can't spend a hundred million dollars and not oh i got cancer and i don't know how to solve it right and so hey y'all I got some. I, I might sound far fetched, y'all, but guess what? You can go on my, you can go on my um channel right now, and you can go on my IG right now, and you can see eyewitness testimony. I've healed osteoporosis. I've healed stage four lung cancer. I've healed herpes simplex virus one, two, HPV. I've healed. I've reversed autism in six year old little children. I've reversed. I reversed um lead poisoning in infants with all miracle food. And everybody think it's a game, but hey. They don't call. I mean, I, I built my business in L.A. and they don't call me Dr. Sebi number two for no reason. I'm not to my own. I'm not bragging. I'm just trying to show you guys that we do not have to face the atrocities of Mega Evers and Emmett Till any longer. Why? Because we have a higher and a very, very, very intuitive spiritual way to deal with it and manifest our wildest dreams. So that's what tell it's all about. about tell me about... um. You spoke about the oil for the car. Um, every car needs oil. Tell me about the miracle food and how. Yes, that so happens. the miracle food, the mir So my philosophy on the body, number one, is that um, our and bodies miracle are machines. Food is the sponsor of the show. Yes, thank you like for that comment. shout out, man. Miracle food is a sponsor. Chakra Doc and my FC Miracle food is a sponsor of the show. Thank you for even. Thank you for even being willing, brave enough to work with us. 
Um, me and me and Gandhi. A lot of people done told me and Gandhi that man, them people gonna try to kill y'all. Uh, man, them people gonna try to do this to y'all. Uh, man, and, and and if you let the and you let that type of stuff stop you from spreading health and wellness to black people, then you don't even need to be helping black people. I'm sorry, but if you ain't willing to be a type of dude who is willing to live as well as die for your people, then your people will not make it. Period. On any level, and so um, the miracle food is my way of showing you how the body works. The body is an intricate machine. It comes with parts, uh, two, what, how, how many bones in the body? What, 204 to be exact or something like that? Go look at how, go Google how many body, how many bones come in the body. In each one of these bones lies something called marrow. Marrow is basically the template for how your blood is generated and regenerated throughout the body, throughout your life, okay? Well, our whole body is made up of cells. Dr. Sabi taught us that intracellular cleansing is the best cleansing for the African melanated person. I repeat, intracellular cleansing is the best cleansing for the African melanated person. And so I always uh, seen the car and looked at the car and seeing how canny, how uncanny that coincidental uh, piecing of the puzzle that the car mimics our body in so many ways. And so when you look at our body, our body, uh, when you look at the car, the car runs off of three oils. Uh, I mean, sorry, the car runs off of three fluids. And just like our body, our body runs off of three energy uh, things that turn into fluid or is produced by fluid. And the number one thing is uh, water. Uh, argue that without water, that car is not going to run properly. Without water, your body is 80, 75 to 85% water. Without water, your body won't run properly. All right. And then we have gas. All right. So the car ain't getting from point A to B if it ain't got no gasoline in the car. And just like if you ain't got no gasoline in your stomach, your stomach is your gas tank. Then guess what? You're not going to get very far without putting anything in your stomach, even some water. You need to coat that gas tank and give it something to fuel the body with. OK. And then we have what would you put in cars? Oil. All right. But how many of us wake up? in the morning to say, hey, let me put some oil in my car. Let me put some oil in my body so that my body can stay lubricated, so that my body, so that my everything in my body can run without any friction and it can run along smoothly. Nothing will get backed up because the traffic in my body is moving at a steady pace because oil helps it smooth along everything, right? So when it's time, and then oil also they say blood. They say they say blood is thicker than water, and the oil and water don't mix. But they forgot to tell you about how oil and blood mix perfectly. So oil is the very thing that can attach to blood cells, that can attach to um, um, your platelets, that can attach to your veins and your um, art, your, your artery walls and your nervous system real easy, coated cope your nervous system, cope these places with its lubricant. And so the debris that you put in your body on a daily basis through processed foods won't just, won't stick to you. They say, when you're eating, I need something to stick to my rib. I got something to stick to my rib. But you don't realize that the food that we eat is made of yeast and acid, and it actually does stick to us. Literally, not figuratively, literally, parts of these, the particles of food literally get stuck to the walls. This is how Blood gets clogged, you get a clot, aka aneurysm, like Dr. Dre just had. I was hey, shout out if any if Dr. Dre, if you need Dr. Dre have miracle food, he'll be perfect right now, right? Um, these things can be prevent, these are preventable things. Dr. Sabi told us that all disease is comes and from mucus, okay? And the mucus is mostly formed from the things that we eat in our diet. And so take the tea off a of diet, and I got the word die. The diet can help us live, or how um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad told us how to eat to live, or the diet can help us die, okay? And so right now, under the Roman rule, the Roman or whatever you like to call it rule, we are under a diet that kills us versus a diet that heals us. And we all know that the garden was the place of and birth of health. It was health with the meaning man did, man was born in a garden. So that symbolizes health. All right. And so these things get stuck in our body. So what lubricates our body to make these things get unstuck and, and transport these things and remove these things from the body? Oil. Okay. But not just any oil. 
It um, miracle food comes with all natural vegan oil. I mean, it's, it's literally food. Um, beetroot it comes from beets. It's just oil. It's just oiled beets. Um, um, CBD with no THC, aka hemp, that comes from that comes from hemp. No THC, and it's just oil. You oil the plant, and you can't get high off it. You oil the plant so that you get healed off of it. Okay, and then you have moringa. Moringa is said to be the tree of Ra on your hat. So when you look at Ra, Ra had a favorite tree in the Netaru. Uh, you know how uh, in Islam they have hadith. Well, in, 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 in ancient Kemet, they had the same thing too, right? And and uh, the stories of the beings and things of that nature that the prophets told. And one of these stories was that the moringa, the moringa tree and the moringa plant was the plant of Ra, literally a plant of light. And when you look at all of the health benefits of moringa, it literally enlightens your body on another scale. But um, and then you have a uh, black seed, the most powerful seed. Black seed is said and rumored to cure everything except death. But you can take these and mix them however you want them. But the way I did it, I said, wait a minute. I went back to my dope fiend days off, my my, my 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 selling drugs and drugging and partying and getting white boy wasted days. And when I used to get high, I used to get loaded to about pack it on. Give me all of the drugs. I need them all right now. Kill this pain. Right? So when it can't, so I take the same principle. I say, I want to overdose on alkalinity. I want to overdose on herbs. I want to overdose on, I want to overdose on water. And so that's what I did. And I, and I flooded my body. And man, the things I seen come up, the things I seen happen, the things I was able to witness during self-healing of my body, because it's all started a journey with healing myself. I had to heal myself of disease before I could come and say, hey, um, hey, Lord Jamar, I got this thing that can heal you, bro. It's going to work real fast. It can go, it's going to give you energy. Yeah, yeah. I had to prove it to myself first. So it took me three years to even create it, right? And before then, it was just FCA yoga and healing people through FCA yoga. And while I was healing people with FCA yoga, I'm just refining the process. Oh, I need less milligrams here, more milligrams there. And I really took to it like a scientist, like Emotep. I, Emotep. I'm Hotep, literally. So if you look at if you look at the names of these gods that came before us, our ancestors, they were the they were geniuses. This is why they were gods. They were geniuses, infinite in their knowledge. And so I wanted, I just want to emulate it, emulate myself like them. And they showed us the mechanics of the body. And they put the parts in jars to say, hey, you're gonna come back and live in this body one day. Right? So oil. You put the oil in the car. And guess what? It helps the engine to keep running and not get locked up in lubrication and gunk and junk in the body. So that's the way I attack the body. I attack the body with an oil flush, an oil flush. Or you can use Miracle Food as just a natural supplement to prevent oil. They call me the COVID killer. If you know anybody who got COVID, I guarantee you they won't have COVID after Miracle Food. You know anybody that got AIDS, they will not have AIDS after Miracle Food. You know anybody that got herpes, any kind of herpes, they will not have it after Miracle Food. What? I'm looking for somebody that's dead. We're trying to find somebody that's dead and bring them back like Lazarus with Miracle Food. Straight up. Listen, I, I, my first vegetative state, he been in a coma for the last 12 years. We put Miracle Food in his eyes and he woke up. I'm looking for somebody like that right now. Now, I have to say that I've tried the miracle food. You're looking right. You're looking right off right in the face too, bro. You know. I've done. Not only have I tried it, I've been I've been using it for the last I don't know more than a week now, every day in the morning. I'm not. E I didn't even do it because there's two ways to do it. You can just use it as a supplement, or you can use it as a cleanse. I just started using it just as a supplement. Right. And let me tell you, <laughs> it still has its cleansing properties. If I was to actually do it as a cleanse, I'm sure this shit would be crazy, crazy. But literally the first day, within an hour, I had an evacuation. <laughs> Those of y'all that don't know what an evacuation is, it's a dump. Right. A shit. Yeah. <laughs> Had to eliminate. Um, and it was definitely, it was like a colon cleanse type of deal. You know what I mean? It was. It was, it was it controllable or uncontrollable? 
it was controllable. It wasn't one of those where you felt like, oh shit, you know, oh, I gotta run to the bathroom. It was just kind of like you felt like you knew your body was telling you, you know, you probably should go sit down right now, you know. Right, right. Um, but when you but but you knew that this was a cleansing one. This ain't no regular fucking shit right here. This is right. The cleansing one right here. Right. Um, and I was pretty impressed by that. Like, you know what I mean? I was pretty right. impressed by how fast it worked. Um, I felt like I felt good after taking it as well. Like, you know what I mean? And after the eliminate, I right. felt good. You know what I mean? Energy level up. Um, I can honestly say since I've been taking it, I do feel my energy level up. Actually, I'm the type I was regular anyway, but I definitely, I definitely know that this was almost like, like a colon cleanse type of shit, but just not so severe. You know what I mean? Right. Not as severe as some colon cleanses that I've had in the past. Um, right. But it right. definitely had that element to it. And then after a few days, like you said, I noticed like some mucus starting to release itself in my nostril. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, right. Not that I was sneezing or, or snotting all over the place, but I just noticed it. It just felt like a little mucus was being released. Right. And I just was going to knowledge, and I was like, hmm, brother said that this would happen. You know what I mean? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I did the knowledge to it, and um, I'm with it. I see the benefits. It's not just about, see, people think, oh, Jamal, I need to get a bag. And, Man, you know, I, I need to get only up a there bag. Because hey, 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 hey. Up here. Listen. I'm not going to take a bag in something that I don't believe in. Let's just first of all, let's 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 state that there's bags that I turn down. Okay, so if I accept the bag, it's it's something that I actually believe in. So anyway, continue. What were you going to say? Man, hey, where you got to you purchase I, I, in the link? We have a link. Uh, sorry, right here. Somebody wants to know where they can purchase. We have a link in the description right now. You can purchase. And okay. I wanted to. Uh... I wanted to rub it, man. You, you, you got. I, I, I gotta get. I gotta get. I gotta get. I gotta get a photo or something on Instagram with Lord Jamal holding the bottle. Like, yeah, you feel me? Oh. I gotta get the photo. Ah. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'll go get the bottle in a minute. It's nothing. Yeah, I got you it. Think? Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> man. Got. Got to get that. You got to get that, man. Cause you know, a lot of people don't believe it until uh, people who have. People who have uh, trust with the community, uh, trust with the community, vouch and say, "Hey, bro, no, look, dude, dude, dude ain't playing. He's serious. You know what I'm saying?" And so it, uh, and that's the one thing. That's the one thing. If you look at the number one, one of the number one causes of disease, number one, one of the number one causes of disease is that we walk around. The average, eighty nine percent of Americans walk around with at least ten to twenty five pounds of waste in their colon and we constantly eat three times a day and never flush out the old backed up system and the old backed up system stays and, and remember and the longer that and the longer that waste stays in that particular place it eats and, and it eats that particular place so this is why one of the number one killers of black men is colon cancer because waste can't stay that long in the colon without being evacuated and it don't turn into cancer. It's going to turn into cancer. So we're literally eating ourselves into an early grave when we don't have to. And that's why I wanted to, you know, create miracle food as well. I have a lot of people who came and said, man, I got my life back now. The STD is gone. I got my life back now. Diabetes is gone. I got my life back now, you know, and and I'm just mounting up the testimonials, getting them, getting them ready for, getting them ready for the science world. We're about, to, you know, we're about to do the actual controlled study, and um, we know for sure, for sure that it heals herpes simplex virus one and herpes simplex virus two with HPV in um, in a month or less. We know for sure, for sure. So we want to do the controlled study around that. Hey, show them that 100 out of 100 people got healed with miracle food, um, with uh, uh, healed of herpes whatever, whatever, 
and have that and have that control study information and say, okay, now I can make a marketing claim without y'all suing me. Why? Because I got the data and say, look, these hundred people ain't lying. All right. And so not well, if it heals herpes, simply like my own. Well, what else can it heal? Now we're talking about getting it under the microscope. Now we're talking about, and that's what people are like, oh man, them people, this them people that look. If I were worried about them people, we would be talking about them people. We're talking about healing our people. And our people need a, a, a physical healing as well as a spiritual healing. So that's why I brought FCA Yoga for the spiritual side and get the and get the scientifics, get the scientifics behind the spirit. And then I brought the miracle food for the physical side because it don't make no sense to be chasing all these dreams and we're unhealthy, worrying about. And that, remember, that lowers our self-esteem. We're walking around with a disease, a malady, or some type of uh, um, thing that impairs our ability to enjoy life to the fullest. And so when you're walking around with that, man, it makes you, it makes you hard to open up to people. It makes you hard to uh, share your life with people. But when you realize that this isn't an obstacle in your way and when you realize that this isn't a thing that will hold you back anymore, now you're able to experience life on a whole nother level and get that second chance and that hope back when it comes to getting you. Let me right now address the elephant in the room. I'm sure a lot of people want to know. Oh, shit. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You almost cut out on me. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. What's up with that pentagram you got on right now? Bet, bet. So talk to me about the pentagram because a lot so, of people hang on, hang on. This let me go to this. Uh la, 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 where is it? I don't know. Yes. One of these comments. <laughs> asking, Let's get it popping. You worship you know what I mean? devil. Google that symbol. Oh, here it is. It says uh and whoever this is looks like a uh, older white woman is <laughs> in there. You in believe there. in the devil? In the Google devil. that symbol. Or the it look like his necklace. Oh, her, oh, that, oh, yeah, she a troll. They always do that. To me. They always, you know how they go. So, right, right, right. For, first and foremost, Caucasian woman, that symbol is not of the devil. That symbol is a plagiarized symbol from Africa. Remember, God. Keep on it, God. So, say, say that again. All right. So, the symbols that we're gonna just break it down right quick. This, like the symbol that you have on your hat. I heard somebody say, "Oh, you with the Illuminati? You got to have on your hat." I remember you said in the thing, "We are the Illuminati. We are <laughs> the Illuminated ones. We're the real Illuminati who illuminate the human beings." All right, but there is a there is a sect of people who uses ancient African symbols that are plagiarized. And they do atrocities to condition your mind behind these symbols because these symbols hold a black heritage that they don't want you to access. So the first thing you have to realize that we black people, we created science, mathematics, geometry, astrology, astronomy, and all of all of the divine, all of the divine arts from witchcraft to religion and all of these things. We created it all. We created everything. And so what happened when they pillaged our villages, when they pillaged our towns, when they came through and robbed our library of Alexandria's and robbed our um, and robbed our different things and, and split us apart. Remember, that, that Tower of Babel really symbolizes the, the, the Caucasian coming in and spreading us apart and separating our language, and we no longer understood one another. And all of these things, what did you think they do, what they would do with our sacred symbols? Did you think that they would honor them, respect them, and put them on high? Or did you think that they would demonize them and dog them so that you can be scared of them and you can have fear of them. Last time I checked, the creator made pentagrams. Shapes was here before any human being. Last time I checked, the creator, Mother Earth, made the goat. The goat is a creation of nature. When you look at all, when you look at all, those, all of these symbols and you look at all of these, if you look at the word devil, devil is the word lived spelled backwards. It's just a play on words. If you look at the word love, spelled backwards, it is evil. And then when you put the, the female VE frequency, it is evolve, right? When we look at the word evil, 
It is live. Right now, we are evil. Look at that word live right there. I'm looking at it. Spell backwards. E B I L. Right now, we are evil because we don't understand that evil isn't what you guys think it is. Evil is a energy called negative. It's called negative and positive energy. And then you need both of them to complete a yin and yin yang. You need both of them to be a complete being. So let me get to you something. The symbols that have been hijacked have been plagiarized, stolen, and used against us. So you have these magicians and these sorcerers and these pedophiles, human traffickers, rapists, Satanists, uh, necrophiliacs, and, and all of the likes and the such walking around with your sacred, sacred symbol. They're walk, walking around and you calling, oh, stay away from me, devil, right? But guess what they're doing with it? They're going behind the scenes and putting it on their marketing symbols. This is why a police walks up to you with that six-pointed star. That six-pointed star is a magical frequency that activates something in the subconscious mind. So that's why when he walks up on you, you automatically feel kind of shook because his intent is to use that symbol to put fear in you. His intent is to use that symbol to shake you. Why? Because when you went to church and you said, in Jesus' name, amen, your subconscious mind automatically remember the white Jesus on your grandmama wall. So when you pray to Jesus and when you pray to God, you're automatically praying to a white man. When you pray to the devil and you pray to you're automatically praying to a white man. Why? Because a white man created Jesus. A white man created Satan. A white man created uh, and plagiarized these names from our ancient African heritage so and what i just want to add on real quick not to cut you off but i just wanted to say that um see we as black people we don't we are righteous people by nature we don't fuck with no satan so the best place to hide information they say from black people is in a book right but now a book dealing with satan Oh, niggas really ain't going to look there. You see? And that's where I can hide a lot of fucking information. So I found out the science about the pentagram years ago. Okay? I found out. The the science of the pentagram is is the science of your body. Two pyramids are crossing as above, so below. Like, Like, listen. All of this shit, we are the original man. And yes, they've taken many original things. Later, years from now, hip hop, they'll say that they might say that's a satanic music or some shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Once the white man takes it and, and turns it into whatever the fuck he wants to turn it into, you see what I'm saying? But and remember, uh, Satan is a Greek common in Hebrew, in Hebrew, Satan is a common noun. So, wait a minute, we know that Satan is a Hebrew word. Well, what is he brewing? The, the African, the African sister, Dr. Susa, teaches the etymology that Hebrew is an ancient, is a, is a ripoff of Habiru. The African Ethiopians called the Habirus. And mm. so the, 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 the Caucasian plagiarism is called Hebrew. So what did he brew? He brewed up a name, that name is called Satan. Now Satan is the actual meaning of enemy. It's a common noun in, in, in Hebrew Jewish language. It is a common noun that means enemy. So Satan is the equivalent of saying the ops. Satan is the equivalent of saying, I don't fuck with that nigga. Satan is the equivalent of saying, man, get that, get my enemy, don't get my enemies from around me. Right? And so we don't even know that Satan is not even a name for a being. It is a code word for a place that is in our DNA. Lucifer is a code word for a place in our DNA. Yahweh is a code word for a place in our DNA. Buddha is a code word. Um, Krishna is a code word. This is DNA language talking. But if we get caught into the allegory of the Bible, remember the Bible is an allegorical book, an allegorical book about the celestial heavens, nations of gods and earth. That's what the Bible is about. The Bible is the story of the nations of gods and earth, period. Plagiarized. Why do you think Egypt is the enemy? When you go in the Bible, who are who is the enemy? Egypt. They're attacking black folk once again, poisoning your mind against your heritage. So this is why you're afraid to go to the star, whether it's this way or this way. You're afraid of it. Why? Because you think, 
and you've been conditioned that your own thing that you invented, that your people invented, now you're completely afraid of it. And they use it to make trillion billions of dollars off of it because now we're talking about something that y'all afraid of too called magic. The whole Bible is magic and sorcery. You got angels in the Bible, demons in the Bible, dragons in the Bible, gin in the Bible, wells that swallow people whole and people don't die. People walk on water. People Snakes start water and talking. Wine. Snakes people, just talking. People, people walk on water. People turn water into wine. People raising look. You can't raise the dead without that being called necromancy. You can't walk on water without that being called levitation. You can't, you can't turn water into wine without calling that alchemy. You can't feed five thousand people of fish. I mean, five thousand people two fish and five loaves of bread without it being some type of a multiplication addition trick. You can't go and put a staff and turn a staff into a snake and make the snake swallow up the other staff that turn into snakes without it being magic. You can't have a bush that burn, but the bush don't burn without it being magic. You can't and have it's a street and it's all streets, streets of gold paved with milk and honey. Mansions upon mansions upon mansions upon mansions and many mansions. You have all of these things, and it sounds like an episode of Supernatural. It sounds like an episode of Lucifer. It sounds like an episode of my favorite Marvel comic. And we don't call Christianity magic. We don't call Islam magic. I, self, law, and master, that is the ultimate magic. But we don't understand what magic is. So here's the definition of magic, everybody. Magic is the ability to influence the natural and supernatural worlds. That's it. We all have the ability to influence the natural, which is the world that you can taste, touch, see, smell here, and the supernatural world, which is the world that you can't taste, touch, see, smell here. You can't taste, touch particles. Particles make up the taste and the touch and the smell, okay? So on one end, we are conditioned with a Caucasian European mind state that says, listen, after you say in Jesus' name, you say amen. That's right there, Egypt, the black Egypt on his, on his head. So... Literally, every day, Christians say amen. Every day, Christians practice witchcraft. Every day, when a, a person says, Alhamdulillah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they bow down and they do their rock highs, that is a magical yoga frequency. Remember, I used to play Street Fighter. Yo got flame. Yo got fire. Nobody used to want to pick the uh, yoga man on that because he was so slow, right, <laughs> on, 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 on Street Fighter. But... We never realized he was a black man on Street Fighter that had the yoga sauce. And the yoga sauce said he was able to blow out flame. He was able to blow out fire. He was able to yoga, he was able to disappear. Remember the man on Street Fighter, the black man? He was able to get up, Dawson, his name was Dawson. He was able to get up and disappear. So now you're trying to tell me that on the game Street Fighter, there's a black man that has the power and harness the power of yoga. You know, black folks in many yoga has the power to harness yoga and has, oh, he can stretch his arms so long with it too. Stretch arms strong. Look what yoga make you do. Look at the character. He can stretch his arms long. He can disappear and come back. He's going to blow fire out of his mouth or fire out of his hands, right? Yoga helps you tap into that fire. But what yoga? This is this is the Bruce Lee of yogas. I don't mean to step on anybody else's yoga toes. I don't mean to step on anybody else's uh, way of life toes. But I am the Bruce Lee of yoga teachers. And FCA yoga is the Jeet Kune Do of, uh, of yoga, period. So when we have these ancient symbols that have been robbed from us, stolen from us, plagiarized from us, bamboozled from us, swindled from us, brought to, a brought to a level that was down, then took it to the level that was up and back around again, remixed, restolen, refurbished, and you scared to partake into it while there's a trillionaire who knows for a fact that it works once it's aligned with the stars. Now, they got to that. Remember, J.P. Morgan told y'all, millionaires don't practice astrology. Billionaires do. This right here, this pentagram is astrology. It is a remember what's in front of the pentagram. What I got right here is you see, you have who you have right there. See the dog star, Dogon. You already know, but they call it what? Who they call him? They call him Anubis in Greek, and then what they call him in what they call it in 
what they call it in the ancient African comedic term. We know this. So in the end, when it's all said and done, this right here, th that goat, that see, look and see that sa, that's a that's a word. Remember, that's the root of Satan, right? That is an ancient African comedic word. Sa. Then you got what? Ma representing the mother, ma frequency. And then you have L, sa ma L. Remember, sa ma L is the alternate frequency for what you like to know as Satan or Lucifer. But sa ma L is showing you the heritage of the L. Who is the L? The angels or the angels. Remember the Elohim? So mm -hmm. we have to break into the mindset and we have to get into the mindset and reclaim that which is stolen from us. So when you see me wearing this, oh no, you'll never see me drink no baby blood. You ain't gonna never see me sacrificing no children. You ain't gonna never see me uh, raping, pillaging women and all of this type of stuff. You know, I'm taking back what was stolen from me. This was stolen. Mm -hmm. That's like a, you're on a block and you are, are you in jail or you're on a block or whatever, you find out somebody stole something from you and they walking around with it in your face. What you gonna do? You gonna walk up and go take your shit back? Or you gonna let a nigga walk around with your shit in front of you and floss with your whip in front of you? Nigga just stole your whip and now he riding. Think about it, we on the block. Come on, y'all, let's take it to the hood. We are from the hood, I'm from the hood. Right. I'm taking it to the hood. And nigga that stole my whip. And now he riding on, he riding on the app in my whip. And I got a gun on me, or I got a bat on me, or I got something that can bust the tires out of this motherfucker, or something. He's not going to be able to ride around in my whip. I'm sorry. Especially if he's a pedophile, rapist, human trafficker, Satanist, or somebody that is motherfucking spreading dark. Remember, Satanism is an adversarial cult that sacrifice babies and drink blood, bro. That's why they make the vampire movies and all of that stuff. So when you understand... They're taking your black heritage and putting a pale face that sucks the human being dry and drink blood. Think about that. Listen, I'm just thinking about the metaphor you gave, right? I want to take it a little further, right? So they steal your they steal your car, right? Right. While they have it, the people that see him with it believe it's his. Right? Right. They believe it's his. Preach. To the point where somebody might be like, yo, you see that? You, you see uh, JJ or whatever the fuck, you know, Matthew, whatever the fuck this nigga right. name is. You see his new car? Like, that's his car. You find out that's your car. You go take your car back, right? Once you take your car back, are you not supposed to drive the motherfucker now around and be like, look, y'all, I got my car back. I got my car back. Or should you take your car back but keep it hidden and still let people think that he own it? That'd be... That, hey, look, and that... And, and, Who in would economics, do that? In economics, that is literally death in economics. Hiding your that which should be marketed. Um, and so I am marketing the fact that I've opened my own school. I'm marketing the fact that I've taken these symbols that they mean for evil and I brought them back to the good. That I'm taking these symbols that they mean for pure darkness and I brought back into a fused light. And so I always like to talk about these subjects. I always like to talk about these manners because if you believe for one second that Jesus or Satan or Lucifer were actual beings that existed, then you are just still under the spell because you haven't realized that these are uh, these are plagiarisms under a different name and a different guise that were stolen from the motherland. We cannot separate that fact. They do everything that they do to us. They do it by stealing it from us first, repetitively using it in front of us second, and then acting like they never stole it from us in the first place, third. And we fall for a hook, line, and sinker like, oh, man, they make this, and they make that, and they did this. And they, no, they stole this, they stole that. So the only thing left to do, you can't go out with no tanks and no trains. You ain't got no tanks. You ain't got no The only thing you can do is take back the one thing that you got, and that is give me a symbol. You gonna you gonna put it on your head? You mean it for the KKK? But I know that's an ancient African Ethiopian symbol. Oh, you gonna call it a swastika? Swastika. 
You gonna call it a swastika and mean it for your hate, but I know that's an ancient African, but I don't even like to call it Africa. El Kebula. And that's another thing. I don't even like to call Africa Africa because I know that ain't the name of Africa. It's El Kebulon is the earliest name from 530,000 years ago that we got on record. And guess what? It ain't got nothing to do with no uh, uh, Africanus and all of this type of stuff, right? So all I'm about is just revealing the truth. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. Y'all can say whatever y'all want, live however y'all want. But the truth got to be known. And if the truth known, we could all make the proper decision and the proper choice. And nobody can't say I didn't know. So that's the level, um, you know. And let's understand another thing. This brother right here, this brother Lord Jamar, thank you, uh, thank you, my brother, for uh, for for giving me um, a deeper perspective into the flat Earth. Um, yes, this motherfucker is flat, straight the fucker. Uh, they don't want to hear that. Please don't take it. Don't don't get it right now. But whatever. No, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> it's real though. Listen. When I look up, when I go and play a game like this, I'm looking at a flat board of squares. I'm looking at a flat board of squares and the piece is moving. When I look at my block, my block, look, they call it my block. My block is a square. And right? you can also go around your block, okay? I can go around, my, where, I can go around yeah. my block. Or around Without right? going around, you can go around. But anyway. So point meaning is this, y'all. If they gave it to us, why should we take it as face value as true when we know that they've lied for so long? When I say they, I mean those who own the education system, those who own the system that teaches us that the world is round, and those who teach us that, that money is real, and those that teaches us the food pyramid and eat your uh, and eat your meat for your protein, and those of us that teach us that we need. Oh, and, the, and, the, and those that teach. Sorry, sorry, they trying to call me. Uh, sorry, they trying to they trying to they, they trying to chime in. But uh, those of the, the, the teachers. Though they, they teach us all of these evil, negative ways, and then we use them, pass them on to our children, and we can't even make it to 60 without needing a pill, bro. And this is not the God body. Look, they call it God body. Literally. Your, the, the temple of God is your body. We don't treat it right. Well, so this is all I'm here to help us do. Listen, bro, we got we can extend our lifespans. Let's stop talking about the problem. There's a solution. If y'all won't heal y'all cancer, I can heal it. I'm telling you, look, I can't, I can't make the official claim. Look, I can't make the official claim in, in, in Jet Magazine, but I can get on this internet and tell you, look, bro, we heal cancer, we heal HIV, we heal AIDS, we heal sickle cell anemia, we heal blood disorders, we heal nervous disorders, we heal skin disorders, we heal allergies, we heal broken bones. We, look, we heal the sick, we feed the poor, we enlighten the deaf, dumb, and blind, okay? We spread the wealth amongst our own kind, aka the black economic value, okay? And we make sure that we stick by these principles no matter how hard it gets because in the end, there is a higher benevolent force that is going to bless us for doing and sticking to the code. You see this right here? Waverly Timberlake says, do chakras show up in x-rays? Like, I love questions like that because it's like, well, does, 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 why does the internet show up in x-rays? You see, does Wi-Fi show up in x-rays? Hold on, Hold on man. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I can't hear you. Yo, sound check. One, two. Oh, hold on. Let me, me I'm a, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the sound went out. Let me exit. All right, come back. Yeah, I just think it's funny, like, uh, chakras show up in x-rays like what proof what does that prove like let's just say you couldn't find it in x-rays there's a lot of things that exist that might not be that show up in an x-ray like is the x-ray the be-all end-all to what's real in our in this realm like i don't think so hang on a second yeah i'm sorry that's that sorry i got knocked out the sound I yeah, got knocked out. I understand. Next time, I'll be on, next time I'll be on my Apple, but right. I had to get it in the day. So, you know, I was just I was just saying to, to recap, somebody said, do chakras show up in x-rays? And I'm like, you know, a question like that is, is to make it seem as if, well, if you can't see it on an x-ray, then it's not real. And I just, I would, I would pose the question, well, does 
Does the internet show up on X-ray? Does Wi-Fi show up on X-rays? Like, there's a lot of this. there's a lot of things we don't see in this world, um, that might not show up on an X-ray, but that doesn't mean that it's not real. Right. Like, like, remember like, this. you remember this? You know that you believe the TV waves. Look at the TV waves. You don't see the TV waves, but your ass is sure watching Love and Hip Hop. Exactly. You don't see the microwaves, but your ass sure eating a TV dinner. You don't, see, you don't the see the radio waves. Waves. We're on it right now. We're streaming right now. And but you, you can't, can't go waves. to the internet. You can't touch the internet. You can't say, all right, this place is the internet. It, it lives inside of your computer for all you fucking know or inside your phone. But where is the internet? Where can I... X-ray the internet. So stupid ass questions like that, you know, really mean nothing. They prove nothing. Um, you gotta be, you gotta be easy on the Lord. You gotta be easy on the Lord. Easy on the Lord. Go easy on the targeted frequencies knock the full spectrum. Of right. course, I realize that. Um, well, maybe the person asking the question doesn't realize that, but um. Yes, it is targeted frequencies in X-ray, so it wouldn't necessarily see all spectrum. So again, like people ask these dumbass questions, thinking. But look, we have look. But look what we have seen on the X-ray. All right, we've seen a person that has a chronic that has a chronic thing wrong with their joints and does FCA yoga and full chakra activation and come back sixty days later and and that place is healed on the X and that place. That the X-ray showed is healed. We have actual, and once we listen, and once we finally do get it under the microscope, because that's the only thing that the medical industry is waiting on, or that's the only thing that the world is waiting on is get it under the microscope so that it can be in black and white, so that we can do just like Dr. Savy did, walk in the courtroom barefooted and with nothing but paperwork and nothing but receipts, and you're gonna have to say, okay, let them through. And so remember, it's it's lonely at the top, but that bitch about to get crowded like a motherfucker. Hang on. So the rap box says, we in the physical realm, God, everything that is real can be seen or measured, even energy. How? How? Measure my thought, motherfucker. How do you measure a thought? How much does my thought weigh, rap box? <laughs> Please tell me. So what is remember, the, what is the physical, exact, but rap box. What is the exact weight of the thought that I have right now? Look, but rap box, you forget one thing. Rap box, forgetting one thing. The physical realm is not the only realm. Allah, we, we are not. You just said we live in the physical realm, but that don't mean we're from the physical realm. Just because we live there, that's like me moving into a neighborhood. And I, I moved to New York. I'm not from New York. I'm just living in New York. You dig what I'm saying? So. Just because we live in the physical realm don't mean we're in the actual, don't mean we're from the physical realm. We are spiritual beings with a spiritual nature. That spirit is hidden in the science of the chakras. And we have to tap into that science in order be, to gain our power back because that's where there's suppression. That's what they hit you with all of these 5G waves and all of these different waves that you can't see, that you can't measure, right? You can't see them, you can't measure them, but you sure ended up with cancer. You sure ended up with people with more anxiety, and you sure ended up with more disease. Uh, because they measure dopamine in both in voltage. So, what is again? Dopamine is a physical thing. That's not a thought. Dopamine is not a thought, and we know thoughts are real. Thought. The thought pituitary gland does not because the manifestation dopamine. is real. What comes from a thought? See, the original thing. There are certain things that cannot be seen or measured. That are real, and the thought is number one. Can it's you see? Of, can you see germs, brother? No, you can't see germs. You can't see germs. You can't see protozoa. You can't see particles. None of that stuff. But and we measure them. Listen, you ready for this? We mm -hmm. measure them by how they manifest in the physical world. But we never saw them do their man. We never saw them do their point from start to zero process. You don't get to see a tree growing. When a, when a plant growing at night, your ass sleep. You just come back out and, it, and the flowers bloom. <laughs> you got to put a time-lapse camera on it, right? So there's certain things that's going on that you're not going to be privy to see until you get to a certain level of consciousness. 
when you get to a certain level of consciousness and now you're seeing, hold on, that this dopamine is not the only thing that controls life. Wait a minute, carbon-12, a.k.a. melanin, is what's controlling this physical life, and melanin is more than physical. Melanin is what is called metaphysical. So, yes, we live in a physical world, but we are metaphysical beings. Physical is what I can taste, touch, see, smell, hear. Metaphysical is what I can't. So I can I I can I can't put love, I can't put love in a glass, measure it, drink it, and now I'm gonna be full of love. I exactly. can't put hope. I can't exactly. put hope in a bag, eat me a bag of hope chips, and now I'm gonna be full of hope measurements, right? So metaphysical means I, it's intangible. I can't see it, but I can see the principle of it. I can see the example of it. I can see remember uh, manifestation of it right i can see the evidence of it but remember it's happening in a world that cannot be seen hell yeah oh see, the physical world is only a manifestation of two other processes that you didn't even see Nothing okay but you weren't even privy to the mental the the the, the gas and the liquid you're only looking at the solid part you didn't all right even hold on the gas and the and liquid ask box this Ask Rap Box this. If you can measure measure the energy, what is the name of the energy that keeps your heart pumping without stopping? And measure it for me. And tell me, what is that measurement call? You call, all right. all right, you said energy, but what is the name of the energy that keeps the heart pumping? And you sleep and the heart's still pumping. You wake, the heart's still pumping. It don't never stop. If it stops one time, you have what's called a heart attack and you die. Okay, so what is that energy that keeps the heart pumping and how are they measuring it? They can't. They're they literally can. trying to find it, but guess what they can do? We can measure how you're going to react. We can measure how you're going to respond. We can measure through numbers and data how you're going to take what we're bringing and projecting, but we can't measure your choices. We don't know what choice you're going to make. See, we can't measure that choice. That's that thought. We can't measure that choice. My nigga might have a one minute, last minute, second choice thought. Boom. You was able to measure that? You was able to put that on the scale and weight? Right. You were able to put that on the scale and weight. That's a metaphysical principle. Hey, so keep going you, to the box, rap box. How much, your web page weigh? how much does your web page weigh? <laughs> you see, like, 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 like I, I know how many pixels in my house. How many, how much does it weigh? How much see, it like, weigh? shut the fuck up sometimes. I got to tell people. Just shut the fuck up. Uh, so listen, how long does it take? Let's get back to FCA yoga. How long does it take to do? FCA. Um, F so, time of your day? so, so I'm right now, right now, since I've been getting so many um, pour outs to do a shortened version of it, I do the shortened version of it. Um, and I'm creating the tutorial for it, um, for the shortened version of it. And I perform the shortened version of it on live. You catch me like you catch me doing different live. You be seeing me on these little IG models and I'll be activating the IG models. Right. And so, um, and so, there's a 10 minute, you know, the 10, 15 minute version of it, you know, and then, but on my website, the free, um, the free one full what's hour the actual version. longest, what's the regular schmegger, the real version? How long is that? The real version is the, um, uh, one hour, the amount, the amount of time it takes you to watch the episode of Empire. Okay. Well, I, I never watched Empire, so well, remember, have to, well, any, another any, uh, show is an example, please. Any, any, Not any, Empire. I'll give you another example. The amount of time it takes to watch any um one hour primetime show. Thank you. Just not Empire. Bad yeah, example. Yeah, not Empire. Right? And it, you know, a lot of our people watch the Empire, so you know that's why. You know, if you could got if you got yeah. time to see the. No, watch they're watching Power. Parents. They're watching Power right now. You, right. You're so, actually a little bit behind the times. Right. So, so think about it. If you got enough time to watch Power, huh? If, if you got enough time to watch Power, you got enough time to go inside and tap into your power. Right, but you're saying there's a 10-minute version that can be done, yes? Yes, there's a 10-minute version that can be done, and yes, hell yeah. So is 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 that something that maybe we can do here with the people right now? Of, oh, hey, so the people, yes, we can do it with the people right now. We can, uh, People, if you want to do this, please get in a comfortable position to where your phones is not in your hand. Um, you are sitting comfortably and you, 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 are, you have the ability to use your imagination, close your eyes, or oh, um, make sure you don't have any distractions. So if you got your kids or you got other things that can distract you from it, um, you might want to do the tutorial on the website. 
But if if you have the ability to be uh, in a solitary confinement, so to speak, like we are right now on this show, then get into that and we can definitely do it. But yeah, we can do it whenever you want. I would love to let the people get prepared, like get, let the, get the people get like a minute. Okay, so listen, yes, let's give the people a minute. If you'd like to do this, we're going to give the people who would like to get do y'all it to get prepared. For those that don't want to do it, again, click the like button and, and feel free to leave um, and come back for another show. Um, while we're doing this, well, I, my eyes going to be closed. I don't, I'm not going to see what the fuck y'all saying in the, in, the, in the comments anyway at this moment. My eyes going to be closed. I'm gonna be, my eyes going to be closed with y'all, and I'm going to be breathing and showing y'all how to do the yoga. And uh, I'm going to be guiding. So, guys, I'm going to be guiding Lord Jamar. And as I guide Lord Jamar, you know, I'm going to be guiding you guys as well. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just like I, I do. And I do this all the time. And you're going to be able to uh, feel it if you use your concentration and use your imagination. Just remember, your imagination is the ability to make yourself see what isn't there. So if you can see, um, if you can see the, the publisher's clearinghouse man knocking on your door with a check for $10 million, then you have a good imagination because um, the imagination is the ability to make yourself see what you what is really not there. You know, if you can see a pink elephant flying or whatever you want to envision, you know, you can see, you know, yourself having a baby or you can see yourself getting a job or a raise that isn't there yet, then you definitely want to uh, try. You definitely want to, uh, you have a great imagination and you want to get into it. So give you a few pointers about FCA yoga. Thank you, Sean Moore. And everyone who's uh, donated to the Super Chat this evening. Thank you. Yes, blessing, peace, and blessings to all who support your cast. Man, much peace, blessings, and prosperity to everybody who, who's watching. And so um, so the one thing that is important is breathing. In the beginning, in, 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 when they created, you know, God blew the breath of life into the animated object called the body and put the soul in it. So the thing that feeds the soul or the thing that feeds the spirit is breathing, but not just any kind of breathing, like your normal breathing, um, intentional, methodical, deep breathing. All right, and uh, uh, Rap Box ain't about to do it with us. So we're about to do it with us, Rap Box. So yeah, he sure, don't believe in the chakras. And, 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 and listen, Rap Box, make sure you ain't on no alcohol and make sure you ain't on no pills and no bull crap, all right? So breathing is what feeds the spirit and what feeds the mind, and it feeds the emotions. This is why they always tell us to take 10 deep breaths when an anger, angry situation comes by in the counseling, all right? So in, in FCA yoga, I'm an aspiring breatharian, and breatharians, we breathe a certain way to digest the air. So the way we breathe is in through our mouth and out through our nose, or in through our mouth and out through our mouth. And we make sure that we put our mouth, what I like to call a slow leak. Like, you know, when a, there's a slow leak in a tire, that means it's a small hole. So you want to you want to suck the air in in a, in a small hole in your mouth, and you want to release it as, as well. So you go in, here's a, here's a practice breath. So in through your mouth. You hold it, and you release. Out through your mouth. That is an FCA yoga breath. When I now say you can breathe, go out I through your nose too, yes? to, huh? You can go out through your nose too. Yes, yes, you can go out of your nose as well. But um, it's important to breathe in through the mouth and then either out through the mouth or nose, correct? Yes, out through the mouth, out through the nose. Breathe, but always breathe in through the mouth. When you breathe in through the mouth, that sends the air to the route down into the intestines down into the stomach, and down into the place where your second brain is at. Remember, your intuitive second autonomic nervous brain has a bunch of nerve links down here in the gut. This is why it's always healthy to keep a healthy gut, okay? Um, so uh, breathing in through your mouth and out through your nose or in through your mouth and out through your mouth. So when I tell you guys to breathe, that's how you're going to breathe. Right? And so that's one thing. Number two, relax and close your eyes and we're about to begin Lord Jamar let me know when you're going to be ready to begin so you can show the people you know what's well, going I was on gonna let you gonna I was gonna let you you know the camera put you okay, on cool. mode. I'm I'm doing it 
but I'm putting I'm gonna put you on teacher mode so they can really why you, look why you, you why you don't let them why you don't let them see you doing it I feel like it's more powerful letting the teacher go right there I mean they're not gonna whatever they all right bet I got you covered I got you I'm gonna get them next time y'all I'm gonna get them next time y'all y'all gonna see that y'all gonna see that nigga like this <laughs> I, I give you something go ahead go ahead I got you covered so I'll so go in ready let huh Go ahead. I might go in and out of. All right, you ready? So, so you guys, you're sitting up. You're gonna close. We're gonna close our eyes. As we close our eyes, we take in a deep breath in through our mouth. Hold and release. As we're breathing deeply. We want to envision in our minds a full vivid visual of our own bodies. Everybody has seen what their own body looks like, kind of like when you're standing in a full body mirror, right? So envision your full body inside of your own mind. Lord Jamar, let me know when you have that, please. I have it. Okay, now that you have a full vivid visual of your own body, we will use your imagination further. And now we're going to imagine and envision that the sun drops out of the sky and falls into your hands. Let me know when you have the sun in both of your hands, radiating in both of your hands. Let me know when you just have it there. There. And now... You're going to envision with your imagination that the sunlight sinks into your hands like water sinks into the soil. You're going to envision that the sun sinks into your hand like water sinks into the soil. When it does, let me know when it does. And now, as the sun has, as the sunlight is inside of your hands, you are going to pay attention for the subtle warmth, the subtle vibration, the subtle pulsating, and the subtle presence of the vibration of the sun. Kind of like when the sun is shining on your hands. Everybody knows what the actual sun feels like shining on their hands. So it's kind of like that presence. Let me know when you can sense that pulsating warmth presence of the sun shining through your hands. Breathing in deeply. Remember to breathe in deeply. I didn't write it down. I write it down. Yes, I feel it pulsating. Okay. And now, with your breath, you're going to breathe deeply with your hands as if your hands were lungs. These are called your palm chakras. When you feel your hands right now, these are called chakras. These chakras are called your palm chakras. Breathe in deeply, in and out of your palm chakras, as if your hands were lungs, breathing into the light of the sun. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more negative gets expelled. Now we use the imagination further and the sunlight travels from your wrist to your elbows. Let me know when you feel the sunlight from your wrist to your elbows. Now, now you're going to breathe in deeply because these are your wrist chakras as well as your elbow chakras. And they taught us this in school when they said my wrist bone connected to my elbow. They were trying to give it to us then. But breathe in deeply into the light from your wrist chakras to your elbow chakras and everywhere in between. Deep breath. Take the air all in, 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 in. Hold your breath and release. Methodical release of the energy. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more negative gets expelled out of the body. Now the sunlight travels from your elbows to your shoulders. 
Let me know when you feel the sunlight from your elbows to your shoulders. Okay, these are called your shoulder chakras. Breathe in deeply from your elbows to your shoulders and everywhere in between. Deep breath. Release. Now the sunlight travels and shines upon your entire face. And you feel it throughout your facial structure, your jaws, your cheeks, your forehead, brow, your lips, everywhere. Let me know when you feel the sunlight in your face. I feel it. This energy that you're feeling is controlled by your nose chakra and your third eye chakra. Breathe in deeply. Let the light enter into the face. Deep breath in, 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 in. Expand your lungs like an exercise, and then we release. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more negative gets expelled. See it, feel it, breathe it, be it. Now the sunlight travels into your neck. The right of the, your right jugular vein, left jugular vein, back of the neck, nape of the neck, Adam's apple, collarbone. Let me know when you feel the light, the sunlight in your neck. Okay. Breathing in deeply, you let the sunlight enter into the neck filtering and cleansing the neck with a deep breath. <sighs> we breathe out. And now the sunlight travels into the chest plate and the breast plate. Let me know when you feel the sunlight inside of the chest plate and the breast plate. Breathing in deeply, we let the light of the sun enter into our chest plate, enter into our breast plate. Breathing in deeply, let this light in. And we exhale that which we don't want, that which we, that we need to let go. And now the sunlight travels into the stomach and abdomen. Let me know when you feel it there. Breathing in deeply, we let the light of the sun filter in into the stomach and the abdomen. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more that you unwant gets expelled from the body. Now, the sunlight travels into the pelvis and the private. Let me know when you feel the sunlight in the pelvis and private. Breathing in deeply, we let the sunlight into the pelvis and the private. And we release. Now the sunlight travels into the hips, thighs, and rear end. Hips, thighs, rear end. Let me know when you feel the sunlight illuminate this sector. Breathing in deeply, we let the light enter in and filter in through the hips, thighs, and rear end. Okay. 
And now the sunlight travels. And now the sunlight travels into from your knees to your ankles. Let me know when you feel the sunlight from your knee chakras to your ankle chakras and everywhere in between. Breathing in deeply, we let the light filter in into our knees to ankles. Releasing the unwanted energy as we breathe out methodically, slowly, and intently. We're going to set our intentions to breathe out and release negativity, and we set our intentions to breathe in positivity. Now the sunlight travels into your feet. These are called your foot chakras. Let me know when you feel the sunlight inside of your feet. Okay. Breathing in deeply, we let the light enter into our feet and we breathe in deeply, let the light in. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more negative gets expelled. See it, feel it, breathe it, be it, release it. Now the sunlight travels up the spinal cord and illuminates the whole entire back, your lower back, your middle back, and your upper back. Let me know when you feel the sunlight throughout your entire back. Breathing in deeply, we take two deep breaths in and out of our back. One. And we take another deep breath. Two. And now the sunlight shines over your whole entire body and turns your whole entire body into sunlight. Now your whole body is sunlight. Let me know when you feel the sunlight radiating throughout your whole entire body from head to toe. Remember to breathe in deeply. Breathe in deeply, in and out. This is called your Merka, in, in Sanskrit, this is called your Merkaba, or your light body, okay? Um, just imagine that the body that you have right now has a twin brother, and the twin brother is made of light. And it looks just like your body, but it is made of light. That's what you're feeling right now, um, if, I, if I can put it simply and plainly. Um, but it's all subatomic particles you're feeling right now. And so now we're going to breathe in deeply one more time through the full entire system of the Merkaba. And we release. As we move on, we're about to activate the seven major chakras, starting with the root. The root chakra is located in the perineal muscle. The perineal muscle is the muscle that you would use if you had to stop yourself from using the bathroom. Lord Jamar, please locate that muscle and let us know when you have it. Got it. Got it. The sunlight now turns red and shines brightly on the root chakra. And you let me know when you feel your root chakra activate. Now you're going to take deep breaths in and out of your mouth, uh, in and out of your, in through your mouth and out through your nose. As you breathe in deeply, I will paint the visual for you as you, and you will feel it. 
The visual that is painting is that as you breathe in, the red sunlight enters into the chakra and powers it and charges it. As you breathe out, you release your negative energy from the chakra and the red light also releases throughout the body for transmutation and healing. I want you to breathe deeply in and out of the red uh, of the root chakra and let me know when you have a sense that the root chakra is cool, calm, clean, and clear. Breathe in deeply. And as you breathe in, let us know when you feel that your root chakra is cool, calm, clean, and clear. And I will breathe with you guys as well. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more negative gets expelled. See it, feel it, breathe it, be it. See the negativity leaving out of your body as you breathe out like you're smoking and a blunt and you're blowing out the smoke, right? And as you breathe in, you are digesting all of the good sunlight, air that the earth has to offer you. And you're doing this through the root chakra as you breathe in deeply. Right. All right. Now that your root chakra is cool, calm, clean, and clear, the sunlight now turns into an orange sunlight and shines upon the sacral chakra at the pelvis private. Please let me know when you feel your sacral chakra activate with the orange sunlight. Breathing in deeply. Don't forget to breathe in deeply. The orange light filters into the chakra and spreads out throughout the rest of the body as you breathe in. You see the orange light traveling throughout the body, going to the places that need to be healed in your relationships, going to the places that need to be healed in your emotions, going to the places that need to be healed in your reaction time and in the way you respond to the matrix. Breathing in deeply, let the soothing orange light heal these places and soothe these places. Okay. And now the sunlight turns into a yellow sunlight and the yellow sunlight shines upon your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is located directly above the belly button. Shine the yellow sunlight directly above the belly button and pay attention and let me know when you feel your solar plexus activate. Remember to breathe in deeply. Now, the sunlight turns into a green sunlight. And the green sunlight shines upon your heart chakra, located right there at the heart. As you shine the green sunlight at the heart chakra, remember the heart is a representation of the earth. Because if I take the H from the beginning of heart and put it at the end of heart, I have the word earth making earth and your heart one and the same thing. So let me know when you feel the green light activate your heart chakra.
here. You with me, Lord Jamar, breathing deeply in and out of the heart chakra. You feel it? I, I said, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we're moving to the vocal chakra, the throat chakra. The green sunlight now turns blue and shines upon your throat chakra located at the Adam's apple. Let me know when you feel it there. Speak a little louder for me so I can hear you. Yeah, I pulled the mic closer. All right, bet. You hear me now? Yeah, I, can, I got you now. Let me know when you feel that throat chakra actively. <clears throat> okay. Breathing in deeply, we envision the blue light coming from the sky or what is, appears to be the dome, not in stop, the sky. And the sky light goes into the blue throat chakra. Breathing in deeply. We let the blue light in, releasing deeply. We let the blue light out. The kingdom of heaven is within. Please let me know when you feel your throat chakra cool, calm, clean, and clear. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more negative gets dispelled out of the body. See it, feel it, breathe it, be it. <clears throat> okay. All right. Now the blue sunlight turns into a purple sunlight and the purple sunlight shines upon the third eye chakra. The third eye chakra is located on the forehead and brow. Please let me know when you feel your third eye chakra activate with the purple sunlight as you breathe in deeply. Breathing in deeply, in and out of the purple sunlight. You breathe in until you feel your third eye chakra is cool, calm, clean, clear. Let me know when you feel it. Let me know when you make it there. Remember to breathe. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive comes in. The deeper you exhale, the more negative gets expelled out of the body. See it, feel it, breathe it, be it, release it. Breathe. Okay. Now the purple sunlight turns into a white gold sunlight. And the white gold sunlight shines upon your crown chakra. The crown chakra is located right there at the top of the head, directly like the soft spot on a baby at the top of the head. Let me know when you feel your crown chakra activate. I feel it. Breathing in deeply, we let the white gold sunlight enter into the crown chakra and enter into our body, filling our spirit body, our emotional body, our physical body up like a battery with its golden light as we breathe in and releasing all of our unwanted stresses and tensions out of the top of our head like a choo-choo train or a chimney as we breathe out. The deeper you breathe in, the more positive golden white light fills your body and charges your battery. The deeper you exhale, 
the more of the negative unwanted stress tensions you release out of the top of your head like a choo-choo train or chimney. See it, feel it, breathe it, be it. Let me know when your crown chakra feels cool, calm, clean, and clear. Remembering to breathe. Clear. All right. And now for the final portion, the sunlight comes in and shines on all seven chakras at the same time. While the sunlight is shining on all seven chakras at the same time, you're going to silently repeat the affirmation, all chakras activate, all chakras activate, over and over on repeat in your mind until you feel all of your chakras activate. And when you do, let me know when you feel all seven chakras activate. Remember, all chakras activate. Repeat it over and over silently in your mind. Say it with force. Say it with feeling. Remember to breathe. Let me know when you feel all chakras activate. Now you're going to keep repeating the phrase silently inside of your mind. All chakras activate as we breathe in deeply. And first, our, we're going to take our first breath and pay homage to the great grand holy mother divine universe. The universe is our home. So therefore, we pay homage and show respect to the universe with a deep breath. Breathing in deeply. <clears throat> All chakras activate. Then we dedicate another breath to the grandmother earth. Our grandmother earth is also our residing place. And for that time and for until we graduate from her, this is our environment. So we take a deep breath and we pay homage and we pay honor and homage to the mother earth with a deep breath. Release our love into the earth with our breath. Thirdly, we pay homage to the Holy Mother Nature. Mother Nature has always shown her her divine ways of taking care of ourselves in this hostile environment. And so therefore, we give her a breath and pay homage to Mother Nature. All chakras activate, we release our breath. Repeating all chakras activate over and over in your mind. We pay homage to our sunlight, our solar generator who gives us this sun every day, nonstop, making sure that we have the light to move about, be fruitful and multiply. So we give our honor and gratitude to our closest friend in the sky, the sun and the moon. Breathing in deeply. Releasing our energy of gratitude into the sun and the moon. And this is full chakra activation, FCA yoga. You don't have to get any weird positions to do this. You can do this in the privacy of the comfort of your own home. The full version is one hour on my website, chakradoctor.org. And please, Lord Jamar, won't you tell the people how you got you feeling, man? What's going on behind the scenes? Let the people see what's popping. You look angelic, brother. <laughs> I must say, I feel refreshed. You you feel refreshed? I feel refreshed. Did you did you feel the warmth? 
did you feel Absolutely. the tingling? Listen, I believe if y'all actually at home did this with us, you feel the same way right now. <laughs> See, but I'm talking yes. about meditation is not new to me. So this is like, you know, and, and I, I almost feel that it's stronger us doing it together. And I don't okay. mean you and I, I mean all of us. And all of the people, here, right. All of our energy here, the 252 people that are here with us right now. Um I feel that intensifies. Can we get a witness? Is there anybody in the room? Like this? Is there anybody in the room who participated in the want exercise now. with us that take feels calls the same way? How would you say that? We could take calls right now if you want. Oh, yeah, let's take some calls. I didn't know we could Somebody do that. I feel tingly. Somebody said, I did Ooh. it. Fire. It is true. It I is really true. felt sun pulsating. Woo! I feel so much peace. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, feel, feel great. Yes, my energy much higher as a group. Yes, man, we lit. <laughs> it says, was anybody else dancing while chanting? All chakras activate. <laughs> <laughs> it said, I like your version of meditation. Yeah, yeah. And I, I felt this. Will it cleanse your aura? Will it cleanse your aura? Oh yes. Remember. Also, remember. So remember Activating this here. Chakras, of course, would cleanse your aura. Well, listen. Remember. Ready for this? If you do it right now on the air, close your eyes, repeat all chakras activate over and over in your mind, and let me know when you feel that initial euphoria, that initial rush. I feel it. Right. That is your auric field. You are literally feeling your auric field generating from within and encasing you into a bubble without. Yes. Let me I ask you. I feel calm. I felt it. Yay. We in the building. Could these techniques be used during a sexual connection? Yes. I kind of feel like these breathing techniques and uh and and saying all chakras activate while bussing, oh my goodness, can really um lead to some sort of spiritual um <laughs> yes. connection. It is uh, I, I, mean, I, right I tell people that it is uh it is tantric, it is tantric on is tantric on steroids. Mm. And it, yes, you can feel it pulsating within. Yes, it is tantric on it is tantra on steroids. And man, I'm so glad y'all man. You felt like you just saw my body is sweating. Wow. Hey, bro. And hold on. You see all these positive feedbacks. Right. Crazy how it really worked, God. You see how all these positive Well, yes, I don't want to cut you off, but see, let me just say, they wasn't fucking with you at first, bro. But let me just say. If I'm bringing it to you, you see what I'm saying? Like, like, just trust me. Like, like, I know what I'm talking about. I don't, <laughs> I'm not bringing you no bullshit. If I say something, if I bring, it's not a scam. It's not no fucking like off the wall crazy shit. Lord Jamar's not crazy. I'm not a believer in bullshit. I, I, I deal with showing and proving. Hey, bro, and, and let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is a this is not an easy man to please. <laughs> right. Not an easy man to please and not someone who's just going to take things on face value. So when I tell you that I did FCA yoga with him on the phone. And no. What, yeah, it was on the phone, right? We was on the yeah, phone. on the phone. We did it on the phone. I, you ready? I That's the foundation of the company. I started this. I started this 
Uh, first, I was at, going walking in New Orleans. Ask, I just walk up to strangers. Hey, let me activate your chakras in New Orleans. Hey, um, let me activate your chakras in New Orleans, right? And then somebody brought me. I, then I went to the Twitter world, and uh, and in the Twitter world, I used to activate people like go in the inbox. Hey, let me activate your chakras. Hey, let me activate your chakras. And then after that. Uh, then after that, it went to the Facebook world, and now I'm in the Instagram, YouTube world. Uh, uh, you feel me? And now it's just like, you know, man, y'all show some love at the website, man. Y'all, you know, go to the website, man. Y'all, 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 y'all download. Look, go on the FCA Yoga tab. The, 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 the exercise is for free, and you can put it in your earbuds, and you can listen to it. Like, Lord Jamar has his earbuds on, his earphones on, and you can listen to it. And it'll be just like I was guiding you just now. But the full version has the music. The full version has, and the full version is an hour long. And we walk through the chakra charging portion. Next time, next time I'm going to show you guys how to chakra charge. Chakra charge is when we go inside of each chakra and we speak affirmations to it and charge it up so high. Like people have said, people have said, man, it felt like I was levitating. Um, people said, man, I, I feel instantly healed. The certain spots instantly healed. So we've healed, I, I, and I did this with over 10,000 people. I have did this in a crowd of two, 300, 400 people. And uh, yes, it's always been powerful every time. It is the foundation. That's why I give it away for free. It is the foundation for all of my natural holistic endeavors. It is the foundation for everything that I do as a spiritual soulpreneur. I don't like to say entrepreneur. I'm a soulpreneur. I'm an entrepreneur that feeds the soul. And so um, that's how me and Dr. Gandhi hooked up. And so that's how it's going to remain. That exercise will forever remain for free. And it's like the church, man. You know, you know, you, if you donate, show some love on some donation. But you can show free love, pay love by just going to the website, y'all. All of this stuff y'all saying on his YouTube, please go to my website. Go to the comments on the website. And please comment that on the website and let everybody know so that they can know that we official and we legit with the, uh, with the chakra business. You know, the chakra business is a new business. Well, listen, my brother, you know, I, I, I think that's uh that's a great way to end off for today. And uh, um, we definitely going to bring you back. Uh, I want you to come on. Um, I want you to bring Dr. Gandhi on next time uh, okay. or, or whenever he can. It don't have to be next time, but whenever one of these times, bring him on. Well, and just let the people see the connection, you know, right. that, that you been able to garner and how this is really far reaching and far wide and that this is no bullshit and that you know y'all got your business game together and all of that right and um you know maybe we'll come back and teach the people some money magic too after after you show and prove that to me as well yeah yes <laughs> definitely definitely um so the, the found so remember the foundation of the money magic is fca yoga so that's why i give people fca yoga first and then after they try fca yoga they feel it's real then i give them the money magic because i show people that money is not cash money is not dollars money is a current money is an energy money needs is dna and money is frequency and if we know how to tap into the certain parts of our dna do you know that we can manifest money from nowhere? We can manifest money from nothing just by accessing certain portions in our DNA that's just been shut off. They call it junk DNA. So when you see my, when you when you experience my money magic, go to my website. Y'all gonna see people receiving checks from the government that they weren't supposed to receive. People, uh, man, baby, baby, mamas love my money magic. Baby daddies be want to take care of their kids so much. After them girls do, after these females do the money magic, man. Um, you, you, I'm telling you, you, Lord Jamar, you're gonna see. I guarantee you, your subscribers are gonna go shoot up in a significant amount of time. Your patronage, your donations, your all the, the, all of the avenues you already got got open are gonna open up wider, and then they're gonna have secret money sources and sources that you never thought to open up are gonna open up, and it's all because we remove abundance blockers and we call upon our DNA to manifest the current. The well, science. listen, man, before we go, we're gonna give. I'm gonna give a couple people. I'm gonna open up the phone lines real quick, and I'm gonna let yeah, a the phone line. We'll get, let a couple people call up. The number is 917-408-3919. Call us up right now. Um, 
if you got a question for the chakra doctor, if you actually did the uh, guided meditation with us, and if you actually felt, um, well, what did you feel? Did you feel anything or did you feel nothing? Tell us. Um, hit us up right now, 917-408-3919. Damn, uh, where's my, uh, oh, man, I need to go. Yes. Probably roll another one. I got a clip right here. And just remember, oh. y'all, that right there, we're going back to the beginning of the interview. That right there was created in a jail cell, everybody. Mm. That was created when a nigga was eating noodles and noodles and chips. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, man, I thank everybody for I thank everybody for tuning in. I thank everybody for participating. And I, man, you tell Rod Digger, you tell Godfrey, they next, bro. Oh yeah, no doubt. Uh, Diggers, get ready to start our cleanse now. All right, hang on. We got the first call right here. Hang on a second. Um, wait, hold up. Uh, all right, caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? You? Hang on. We live? There we go. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? This is Dr. Inky calling in from Detroit. We live? Yeah, we live, Dr. Inky. I, I seen you earlier. What up, you Inky? Dr. Yo, Dr. Inky, I got fire for you earlier uh, in the chat. Absolutely. You know, I want to know what's happening now. Let me explain to you because Jamal, you know, we we rock with you, bro. But but let me explain to you where the question is coming in about particular types of technology being able to show the chakras. So when we look at the light, right, and the brother like the rest of the con artists that pro promote chakras, they like to use the symbolism of seven to pretend or overlay that that relates to the chakras. See, what the significance of the seven is the visible aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum, Roy G. Biv. That's what the number seven in all of its references to light reflects. Now, when you talk about the chakras, if we talk about the Europeanized Western chakras, all of those chakras actually have colors ranging from red to violet as their prescribed colors. Those colors are the visible part of the spectrum. So if there's a red chakra, that red chakra would be visible. See, we can't say the visible the energy is invisible. It is visible, brother. Time out. I'm gonna show that. you how it was visible. Time out. I'm gonna show you how it was visible. When you close your eyes and you shine the red light on the chakras, you are seeing it with your mind's eye. It is called your third eye. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul. So listen, if I was to close my eyes right now and see a million dollars falling them out of the sky. Who are you to tell me I can't see that? And who are you to tell me that it's not going to manifest in my life as a physical representation of what I'm seeing in my mind's eye? Just because you can't see it right now don't mean it can't be seen. But as soon as we close our eyes is the minute that we can see everything because 98% of what's to be seen is dark matter. So when I close my eyes, isn't it dark? Yes. And when I close my eyes, can't I envision the matter? Can't I envision matter? Yes. So this is, that's a misnomer about it can't be seen because as soon as you close your eyes, when you're sitting in your chair, that chair couldn't be seen until somebody's seen it in their mind first with their, and use their light to bring it about into life, brother. That's great. That's called imagination. We can also see Bigfoot. Remember the though, imagine, and image, image, uh, image is worth a thousand words. Picture, image, imagine, imagination is just not something you see with your mind. Imagination is what ah. creates the universe. Jamal, you cannot be co sided <laughs> So, yes. when, when you, when you, so you have a pituitary gland 
that secretes thought, don't you, brother? A uh, pituitary gland that secretes what? Your, your pituitary gland secretes liquid. And that liquid gives you thoughts, right, brother? My pituitary secretes liquid, First, and that liquid time gives Lord Jamal, you Lord Jamal, Lord Jamal, Lord Jamal, he too ignorant. We can't go on the level. Stop. I had to repeat it twice. He too slow. He got to catch up. We got to go to the next caller, bro. You trying to cause mischief, homie. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. This will be our review. You're a mischief bringer, bro. Thank you. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I've, I've heard of the brother. Um, my brother from Duke Knowledge uh, TV was uh, one of me. We love the brother. We love the brother. Yeah, I, you know, listen, everybody don't have to agree with each other. I think we need to be respectful, though. Of we got to focus on all the people who are just in the comments that said, hey, I felt it. They had how many? I can't even count. I lost count. I, I lost count after 20. They said, hey, I felt it. So you mean to tell me that all of these people are lying? Who say they felt it? All of these people are imagining, around, around, imagining the that they physically felt these things you say are uh are not real or can't be proven or can't be x-rayed or viewed under x-ray or in certain type of light. But we actually closed our eyes. We envision light. Remember, this is the power we have as people. We envision light. That light that we envision connected us with the light inside of us. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. We all heard the riddles. We all heard the rhyme. All right now. Hang on a second. Uh, well, one second. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Oh, uh, Dominique Kennison from Coachella Valley, California. How are you doing, Dominique? Peace, infinite love, peace. You have a question or a comment oh, for, uh, for uh, Chakra Doctor? Oh, well, uh, I was just enjoying the amount of sense being made and the good uh, good energy. Um, this man here. Uh, Thank you. Is uh, <laughs> really on the up and up. Uh, he hit a nerve with me when he was talking about the DNA aspect. I used to tell people, you can only contemplate and only perceive what DNA you have to equate for your brain to understand. How does that sound, Mr. Judge Chakra, sir? Well, well the, one thing I always, the one thing I always understand is this. Our bodies are machines. It is proven that our body is more intricate than any machine that we have right now today on the face of the planet. We still can't mimic it and make an imitation um, machine human yet that can do the proficiencies of the machine body. Just the body alone. Because we forget that the body comes equipped with an autonomic nervous system and auto everything. Um, and so the first thing we have to realize that this body is a machine. And all machines, all intricate machines, are governed by what we like to call computers or what you call calculators, okay? And our calculator, modern-day calculator, is what you like to call the mind. What is the house of the mind? The brain, okay? And so once we get yeah, over we'll ourselves as correct. human, we will begin to analyze ourselves from the position of a machine and a computer and a spirit, a soul, a, in, a sentient that is driving it, that is inside of it, that has the power to give it word, the power to give it windows, the power to give it um, Microsoft, the, the power to download apps, unlearn, relearn. Un, repetition is the father of learning. And so we understand how do computers communicate? Remember, so if we're a computer, what is our computer structure? Computers come equipped with 
RAM, and ROM. Okay, we are the quantum computer, the subatomic particle computer. What is our RAM and ROM? RNA, DNA. So our RNA and our DNA literally is the governor of what we like to call genes. Jean Grey, remember Jean Grey in the X-Men? What are genes? Genes, simply put, right. are codes. Codes of what? Sequences of shapes, sizes, and numbers, a.k.a. alphabet, uh, num numerics, or geometry. Look at it. So what, com what, what language do the computers talk in? The computers talk in a language of zeros and ones. Zeros and ones, right? Okay. Well, let's right. analyze our quantum computer. We speak in a language of zeros and ones, but we understand it on three levels. We understand it on a zero as well as the one, but that zero can graduate into an O, and that one can graduate into an I. Now it's an alphabet, alpha, beta frequency. But then my O can graduate into a circle, and my one can graduate into a line, sacred geometry. This is the trinity of what we like to call the tetragrammaton, but you still don't even understand how the codes have been sacredly plagiarized, jacked, hacked, and remixed, given to us as an original program, as if, as, as literally as if Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were real people that fucking existed. This is the level that we're on, on a, on a level of horizontal living. We actually believe that the same people who did not know how to wash their ass 500 years ago gave us the savior who saved the world and you supposed to and you calling me crazy for saying hold on let me dissect this book you're giving me these 66 books and they got 30 seven eleven correct and duality is two and two times two times 36 is 66 wait a minute I gotta get two plus thirty-six. Sorry, um, you know I'm sorry. Two thirty-six plus thirty-six. Yeah, thirty-three plus thirty-three is sixty-six, right? And we got it going on. And so you have to just analyze this book. What is this book? Calculations of numbers, sequences, codes, and what do these codes correlate? What, what one might call our intuitive DNA or our secret nature called magic or our ability for our spirits to communicate with the motherboard. What is the motherboard? They call it the mothership, motherboard, mother earth, karma is a bitch, life is a bitch. Akashic uh, record. Uh, uh, yes, everything, right? Motherland, um, mother, 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 the X chromosome. Remember, XXX movie. You remember the X, without the X, ain't no XXX movie. The industry is gone, right? Um, X marks the spot. Xmas, right? Um, get X out. My ex boyfriend, my ex girlfriend, my my um sex, my hex, my plex, right? My, my vex. It is all about the X. And what we know, what we what do we know about the X now that the X is able to create and mutate and create men, X men. How? Because the X is a big, large genome of sequence genes that only certain parts of it can be found in what we all started off as in the womb. What did we all start off as in the womb? Females. Go look it up. I'm not mentioning, this is not conjecture. This is not pseudoscience. It can be proved for genetics. Anything, nothing I'm telling you right now um, is pseudoscience because everything I'm telling you right now I either prove it with my technologies, and you can try my technologies, or they are proven through other technologies that we can put in black and white. I'm not here for what you believe. I'm not here for what you personally think and opinion. I'm only here for what can be proven and what can be saying and cast the light of doubt and say, hold on, this can't stand up under scrutiny. We got to bring it back to the drawing board. So yes, I'm going to bring the globe earth back to the drawing board if God damn, they got indiscrepancies in the story. Don't you do that with the Bible? Well, if God do this, then why this? And we bring it back and we dissect the story. So let's re-dissect ourselves as people. Find out why do we love these diets? Why is why is a Roman language the only language that we master? And then they want you to learn some more Roman languages. Go learn, go learn Spanish.
Spanish or go learn Portuguese or go learn French. This shit all European. Ain't none of it got nothing to do with your roots. But you still won't tell me that the guy that's coming around telling you that it's not a spell, it's a program. And you put it into sequences. And these sequences correlate with something called chalk. Ra. Ra is our ancient way of communicating with the sun, of our melanin being able to take negative and transmute it into positive, our melanin being able to speak with the sun and translate from the spiritual world to the physical world as if it was by instinct. So we have these gifts and we have these abilities, but we have been stripping from these gifts, stripping from these abilities, and now they're waking up. Why? Because they always lied to us and told them that they didn't exist. They always lied to us and said that this is junk DNA. Wait a minute. Creator don't make nothing out of no junk. Why are you going to tell me it's junk when all you've been giving me is junk the whole time I've been interacting with you? So excuse me if I don't trust your word. Let me go be a scientist on my own and analyze this. Let me go be a marksman on my own and shoot this out. Let me go be a gangster on my own and fight this out. Let me go be a, a, a chemist on my own and build this out. Let me go be a carpenter on my own and build my house. But I ain't going to worry about what you got to tell me because only thing I'm, the only thing that matters to me is that law of attraction. What can I attract with my mind when I put it over my matter? And my matter brings about the fruits of my labors that I've been worrying about all in my mind on a positive level, focusing on it with an intense desire. Man, how many people know that the universe is within you? The heaven, the kingdom of heaven is within you. I've never seen an angel and I've never seen a demon that didn't manifest in a physical human body. So the only thing I got people to say is access your DNA. Access the things that you know for a fact that you can prove. We can prove beyond shadow of a doubt that we have DNA. We can prove beyond shadow of a doubt that we've been lied to on multiple occasions. Anybody who's been lied to on multiple occasions and keep believing the lie is no longer a victim, is no longer oppressed, a straight sucker punk ass bitch. And this is spiritual gangster shit we talking now. Ain't nobody gonna be on the block, steal my dope, jack me out my dope, and come back and try to sell my dope back to me. He gonna get whacked. I'm telling you how it's going. But guess what? And we ain't got time to do this physical shit. We gotta think on a higher level. Because we war not against flesh and blood. We war against flesh and blood people who are practicing DNA code sequences and putting it in algorithms. And these algorithms got you under a so-called spell. If I take the SP off a spell, here we go, that word again, L. Huh? What is L? Come on, man, what number, what number of the alphabet does it have? Can you go find it? Can you go read and mean what the what the actual letter, what's the definition of the letter L? Nobody even knows what the definition of our letters mean. Let alone know, let alone know what the true meaning of these words we use on a daily oh, basis well, mean. Yeah. So I'm just re-giving and I I, I I unlearned when I found out. When I found out, because when I used to pray, I used to pray to Jesus. Listen, I used to pray to Jesus like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily yeah. bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I've been saying that since I was, I was saying that when I was five. And guess what? When I was six and seven, no, my energy. mind started seeing the picture of Jesus. And guess what? It was the picture that was on my grandmother's wall, and the picture that was on my grandmother's wall was a cracker. The picture that was on my grandmother's wall was a Caucasian. The picture that was on my grandmother's wall didn't look like me. So you constantly want me to give my life over to a being, to something that don't even look like me. You constantly want me to sacrifice to something that don't look like me. Okay, that's cool. I'll sacrifice for the world, but don't hate me when I'm sacrificing for what look like me. I don't care if you are is Hebrew Israelite. I don't care if you are a nation of Islam. I don't care if you hotel. I don't care if you are a Christian. I don't care about none of that. Only thing I care is that you this color right here and you smart. You the world. You genius. All that shit is your personal Not belief time. system, what you do in your bed with your sexual preference. I don't give a fuck who you fucking. That ain't my business. I'm a nigga that mind my business. You feel what I'm saying? All that shit about your belief system, who God. That's the way you get through life emotionally and physically. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That shouldn't get in the way of us building a plane. That shouldn't get in the way of us having a train station. That shouldn't get in the way of us getting a bank. That shouldn't get in the way of us getting an economic foundation because we making $2 trillion and wasting it. These niggas is tripping. So guess what? All we got to do is live it. Love it.
and we gonna be the examples. And when we become millionaires and billionaires and first black trillionaires, because it's on the way, first black trillionaire type shit on the way, and when it do happen, y'all gonna see how the economy shifts from America being the superpower to Africa being the new superpower. And from Europe being the new super, the old superpower to India being the new superpower. How? Because it's been foretold, it's been foreseen. So I ain't doing nothing that ain't been foretold or been foreseen in your books. Last time I checked, man, when I read the Bible, I used to wonder why God killed so many people. And then when I did my calculation, I found out that God killed 2 million people and Satan only killed 10 people. And the 10 people that Satan killed, he, God told him to kill them. What the fuck is going on with, what, with my people? That we that ignorant? We, we, that, we that dumb? We that stupid? That we could just believe in the old, that called a gopher. You go for anything. I'm from I'm from a place where we don't go for anything. That's why y'all need the streets in y'all life. Because y'all forgot y'all get uppity, y'all get that money, y'all get bougie. And y'all forgot what it's like to come from that bottom and make it from nothing. So guess what, man? Here it go, man. We're just going to give it to you real. We're just going to give it to you love. That tough love going to hit it. And thank you, Lord Jamal, for, uh, you know, letting me get it. And yeah, man, it is what it is, bro. Carla, Carla, thank you. Thank you for your call, brother. Uh, we appreciate you. You heard? All right, man. Yeah. Peace to you all. Yes, sir. Peace all out, right, my let's... brother. I love you, bro. Yeah, we uh, we we we're coming up on three hours now. Get it, man. We gotta go. We gotta. We gotta. Yeah. We gotta. This, we gotta this push. One, we gotta this push it on now, bro. You know, I, controversial. I, I, you know, I, I said when I came, we gonna we gonna let we gonna we gonna leave this one up. We gonna let the people do the knowledge to it. Um, they yeah. come back. Follow the meditation if, if they like. Thank um, you. If you'd like to uh, get the superfood, you know, the link is in the, the miracle food is the link is in the description. Um, you've been seeing the commercials uh, before, you know, uh, damn near every segment that we've been putting out recently. And the link is in the description of all of those videos as well. Um, so, again, I thank you for coming. Uh, shock you. doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Look forward to uh, you know, bringing uh Dr. Gandhi next time. And uh, yeah, yeah, this was good shit, yo. Yeah, you already know, man. I appreciate you having me, and thank you so much for taking the time out to investigate this and see for yourself and put it together yourself. And I see you blowing. So let me. I had, to put together, I had to put together a real L uh, while I put you on uh solo, you know, what I had you do. Yeah, man, I had to just get that. I had to just get that out there, man. Can't they never hear from me again? You feel me? Listen, can't you never hear from me again? You're going to hear real, you know, out the horse's mouth, man. That's what's up, bro. Well, listen, uh, definitely going to bring you back. Um, and yeah. If y'all got if y'all got something positive out of this, you know, leave leave uh leave your comments, leave something in the comments. Don't forget to like. First of all, like all the videos. You know what I mean? When you watch a video, make sure you like it. It's all about algorithms. It's YouTube shit. If you if we want to get our out there into the mainstream where Play YouTube is, is uh recommending our videos and all of that type of shit that we got to get, you know, our likes up and all of that type of shit. So, uh, right. yes, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, Start that 2021 all right. So, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. Um, once again, we're going to end it off. Love gang. Love gang. Listen, let the unit that mean love, y'all. If y'all see that, that mean love, y'all. Don't let them fool y'all. This mean love. I love you. You know that sign language. Love gang. Remember, let's take our let's take our house back. I want my, my car brother. back. Give me my car. Debo. Debo died. Debo gone now. All right, God. Peace. And once again, y'all, we appreciate y'all for coming through. We did not a mean God cast. I am Lord Jamal. Much love to my co-hosts, Rod Digger and Godfrey. They will be back very soon. 
Until then, I'm going to say peace. Happy New Year. And don't believe all the bullshit that you hear. You heard. Peace.